was John went, this is how I protect myself. Uh-oh. And he showed the copper what he'd made. He'd made a taser out of two AA batteries and a carrot. A carrot? A carrot. <laughs> Right, and he put this little so, transformer. No, no. <laughs> yep. No. Yep. Your neighbour did not make a taser yep. out of a carrot. Fucking did. What, no, he didn't make one. He made four. <laughs> <laughs> made oh, four. sorry. Sorry, that was the bit I found believable. If you have the ability to make a taser carrot, why would you only the make one? Right. Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. Dead Men Talking invites you to join the world's largest social network for adult. Try free. Just go to dmt.adultfriendfinder.com to connect with like-minded partners. Looking for sex? <laughs> Hoping to meet someone special for a hot sexual relationship or even just a quick fling? Adult Friend Finder has helped millions of people find traditional partners, swinger groups, threesomes, and a variety of other alternative partners. As a leading adult-oriented social networking platform, our aim is to create a safe and inclusive environment for exploring all kinds of adult relationships. Join free at dmt.adultfriendfinder.com. Welcome to Dead Man Talking with me, Rob Mulholland, as ever, little not gay Tom, Hello. and well, he was a big fat cunt. Unfortunately, he's got quite ill. It's Freddie Quinn. Yeah, I've got AIDS. He's got AIDS. <laughs> Freddie's got AIDS, as you can see, wasted away. Looks like the end of Philadelphia, and normally he's at the start of a tub. <laughs> <laughs> Bummed. Yeah. <laughs> what an excellent weight loss program AIDS is. You know, yeah, it's never yeah. talked about, isn't it? It yeah. is one of the main benefits of AIDS. Yeah, 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 you're looking, honestly, better than you ever have well, done, mate. I was going to try heroin, because yeah. that does the same thing. Sure. But, Couldn't uh, find a vein through the blubber? No, nah, it's the teeth. Right. Because with the, the heroin, you lose your teeth. Right. And I need them for eating. How hard are you injecting it into your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> powerful cocks that you have to suck to get the heroin. That's the problem. <laughs> that is the thing with it being a smack addict. Yeah, getting his teeth knocked out by Wealthy knobs. men have hard bell ends. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They can afford the good Viagra. Oh, gold ones. Yeah, that extra Viagra. Yeah, with their gold Johnnies. <laughs> <laughs> Got to buy it from Wix. Yeah. It's not really Freddy. It's Ryan Gleason. Oh, you've ruined, whoa, whoa. The, you've ruined the surprise, Tom. <laughs> Everyone was like, wow, oh Freddy's God. all in. Yeah, all your listeners would not have got that joke. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, there wasn't enough. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Freddie does have AIDS, uh, but we've uh, just we don't want to be around him because it's sad. Yeah. So we just left him. Uh, so instead, we uh, have today as a very special guest host. You will know him from the Stag Special if you are a regular listener slash viewer. He is Mister Fucking Blackpool himself. It's Ryan Gleason. Good yeah. to have you, mate. Well, thank yeah. you for having me. He is the owner, proprietor, and uh, regular host at the comedy station in Blackpool get your tickets every Friday and Saturday it's a fucking brilliant comedy club if you're in Blackpool it's none of this old school bollocks it's proper up to date uh, modern racism, in it. Yep, proper racism. Yeah. <laughs> with with a little sousson of sexism. Oh, lovely stuff. What the, that, that, it's, it's lovely to use the word sousson in the middle of some uh, bigotry. That's very oh, nice. Oh, God, yeah. You've got, lovely touch. You've got to be eloquent with your racism. <laughs> I think mean, that's the first time anyone's ever said sousson on this podcast. I, I, that I, surprises I would, me so much. I, I, I would be willing to bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, bet I use sousson in my special. Coming soon, probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the saga of this special getting out. Like I have filmed it, I promise. I think we've exported maybe 15 final versions we're of on, that now. Yeah, we're on final version 15. It's yeah. a fucking unreal. Every time, uh, like, and it's always the first 30 seconds we've managed to fuck up somehow. <laughs> like, we, 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 I watched the other, and like, you know, we're like, right, this is it. We've done, we've done. I send the file over to Tom to export. And he exports it. I turn it on. The, the first shot somehow is ruined. I'm like, what the fuck has happened? But was it a different way? It's always different. There's always a different mistake we've made. It's fucking incredible. It's just two fucking mongs passing files back to each other. And it's just not working. I should just give up. Yeah, yeah. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, it's just, never coming out. Just make it an audio. 
Yeah. Ah, oh, well, the audio still needs editing. Oh, yeah, we've not finished that yet. <laughs> not yeah, done yeah. that yet. Got that to fuck up yet. Oh, yeah. God. Like, yeah. So it is coming eventually, but you are, unfortunately, two very dumb people are making it. So, yeah. you know, it's uh, it's going to take a little bit. But the content is fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's I mean, fine. I I am sick of it. I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen that. Because th- I've been touring that material for a year and then, like, I've been editing it and watching it. I never want to see it ever fucking again. Yeah. I'm very sick of all the jokes in it, but uh, I remember them being very funny. So, like, hopefully when you see them for the first time, you'll uh, enjoy that. It is good special. You went on tour with it. Well, I went to Australia, did like, oh, that we did the Dead Men tour. There yeah. was the material I was doing there. So I actually filmed the special on the Dead Men tour. So uh, it was the Leeds date. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can see one of our big fat pretend, fans in the Leeds shirt. To pretend shirt. that you were more popular on your own in your special. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, Genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genius. And uh, doing it in my, uh, my manner as well. Like, they're filming the lead show. In the lead. So, I, you know, it would naturally skew more to favouring me. What venue was it? It was at the wardrobe. It's fucking great. Oh, it's venue. nice. Yeah, it is proper low ceiling, fairy lights on the roof. It was cool. It's Love that place. Venue. One of uh, probably the best comedy club in the country, bar none, I would say. I would say there's no better comedy venue I've ever been to. <laughs> uh, I did notice that you've not brought Dead Men or your tour to Blackpool, actually. We only did uh, major cities. No, no, we only did no, actual no. big uh, done, done now, countries. Done now, done now, we did, we did big cities full of, like, you know, uh, people who aren't I don't think in we, Blackpool. I don't think we've got that many fans in Blackpool, either, no, I think we, judging I've, by the metrics on... Yeah, A-cast. but you know, our fans will podcasts, holiday there. I'll be honest, podcasts haven't landed in Blackpool yet. <laughs> yes. This is the problem. We're still on CFAX. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Half the people in Blackpool have still not completed Bamboozle. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people in Blackpool like, have you heard about this new computer game, Minesweeper? <laughs> like, well, start putting it out on cassette. <laughs> <laughs> bank holiday weekend, I went on, and the first thing's like, yeah, it's bank holiday weekend. Like, nobody in the room cheered, and I realised that, it doesn't make any difference if yeah, you don't have a job, this does is it? it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just means they can't say they've got to sign on on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I'll like, tell you what, like, we will next year go to Blackpool. I'm well up for that. Like, yeah. we'll, we'll come do it because we're doing a bigger tour next year where we go to like uh, other B markets, essentially, <laughs> you know, the B grade towns and cities. We went to all the good ones yeah. on the first tour just to try it out. That's the opposite that way well. to do it, though, isn't it? No, well, we wanted to, if we can sell tickets in the big cities, it's worth gambling on the little ones, was yeah. the thought. So, yeah. like, now we're gonna we'll go to Blackpool next year, probably. Yeah. You know, like uh, Diva, that's a good venue, isn't it? Oh, that's not Diva, but I can't, I'm, I'm legally not allowed to say what it actually is to correct you. But okay. It's what you'd say just before Las Vegas. Oh, right. oh yeah. Uh, Viva in Blackpool could suck my dick. Uh, I don't, I, there's no legal reason I can't say that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, like we'll come next year, we'll do Blackpool. That'd be well fun. Yeah. We'll go to all the shit towns. Your yeah. Blackpools, your Hulls. Your Warringtons. Your Warringtons. The thing is, right? thing yeah, is uh, Blackpool, so. Blackpool is shit and it isn't shit. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. tiny. That's the problem. So, like, the really shit places are literally next door to, like, you'll have you'll have a really palatial building right next to a bonfire full of tramps. Yeah, there is some like incredible architecture yeah. in, in Blackpool. There's some like amazing old buildings, like like these beautiful Art Deco theaters and stuff. And it's like wow. And then yeah, you look around and there is like a homeless guy wanking off a dog. Yeah. He's the like, mayor. <laughs> <laughs> the dog. Yeah. And it's like Ryan, yeah. I'm, w- the club started in twenty minutes. <laughs> the problem we've got. Right, at Blackpool, it's because like there's no university and there's no jobs. There's so, no university in Blackpool. So, no, but Colour me shocked. <laughs> yeah, but like, Warrington's got a university. <laughs> no, it hasn't. It it has. Has. No, it hasn't. I went. No, it hasn't. Yeah, exactly. That's not, that's not a university. It's, it's, it's a visit. standard of education. Well, it can't, a man who can't fucking Google. Yeah, this is what's how bad it, it is. What's it's, the name of it? It's called the University of Chester. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Warrington campus. It's uh, so far away from Chester. That's so. Do you know what funny. it used to be called before? It was called that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but no, right, because like everybody from the age of 18 just fucks off to uni and yeah. then you get there's no jobs here unless you want to wait on to smackheads. Mm. So they don't come back. And yeah, then yeah, sometimes yeah. we'll get people that come in and like normal people, like 18 to like 40 year olds, like normal, nice people. And then other times we get people that come in and go, I'm offended by this because of swearing. Like, wouldn't be offended if it was racist as fuck. Oh, God, that's the most annoying thing with, like, uh, those sort of, like, old people. Uh, like, you get a lot of them in Kent, uh, but Blackpool, they, they come and yeah, they wear they wear corduroys, don't yeah, they? These yeah, guys yeah. wear tattoos on like, their face. These are, these are, oh, no, the Kent people fucking do as well. They've got a bulldog tattoos on necks. It's a real fucking place. But that, that is the thing. They're offended by swearing, and yeah. it does me fucking head in. Because they're like, yeah, they'll happily throw around, like, any kind of racial slur. Yep. But, like, you say shit, and they're like, oh! <gasps> 
<laughs> don't say cunt in front of my wife. Oh, oh yeah, I've had, don't be a cunt then. <laughs> I've had so many complaints like that. I, I did a gig once where I was comparing, where uh, before the show they asked me to not make any jokes about the royal family because it would upset the audience. I was on the south coast. This like fucking old people. I was like. Ah. I am not going to be funny tonight. Like, <laughs> I literally like it was the worst MC I've ever done, but like they enjoyed the job I did because I was just like, "What do you do?" And then they were like, "I'm retired," and I was like, "Lovely." <laughs> <laughs> I was just being nice and unfunny, and uh, fuck me, it's so boring. But yeah, like the swearing thing, fuck it. Like old people are well weird about swearing. We got a one star review because of it from a guy who was yeah. 80 years old. He was a counselor as well from the northeast. I was Which like, kind of counselor? Therapy or on no, the no, county council. council. Yeah. Yeah, bell end. Yeah, I One love stop. swearing. It's my favourite. It's thing fucking great. Oh, yeah. Well, it. he doesn't understand that like people our age, it's just the way we talk. Yeah, um, and like I don't get it. There's some old people in Yorkshire who are like that, and it's like no, but old people in Yorkshire. The oldest swear person like in that. Yorkshire is 47, yeah. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> no, North Yorkshire is very old. There's a lot of fucking Tory pensioners around there. Oh, that's where uh, they buy all the big houses, isn't it? The yeah, farms and shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rishi but, Sunak's got a place in North Yorkshire. Yeah, he? exactly. Like mate, like it's fucking beautiful. Uh, loads of it. So loads, loads of like posh cunts. We should go. We should go around his house one day. Go around Rishi's house. He's got loads of houses. You know when there was that protest at his gaff the other week, and everyone was like, "At his home." It was like one of his seventeen homes. He wasn't there. It's like you know, I think that's perfectly fine to protest someone's empty sixteenth home. Yeah. Even if he was in, though, he's still a mile away from the front door. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, they covered his house in like black material. They fucking like they really went for it. What was the protest? Uh, it was uh, just stop oil know. or one of them, something like that. Yeah, because they, they've started, they're opening all the new oil things, aren't they? There you go. It was one of them anyway. I think it was environmental. I'd love it if Maybe that material just hated was short people. Like, <laughs> yeah. fuck off, dwarfs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hope, that, I hope that doesn't catch on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new cull. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. Look, oh, I'm all for dwarf hate. I'm leading yep. a tall supremacist movement. Yep. Yeah. My... Anything anything, uh, anything that takes the attention away from ginger people, I, <laughs> I'm happy with. And the terminally skinny. The Terminally skin legally still take oh, I'll take the piss out of skinny people and ginger people. Yeah, so you're fucked. Yeah, we're also allowed to take the piss out of Nancy's, so we're three for three. <laughs> yeah, but that one's that one's a life choice, though, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. I think it's perfectly fine to take the piss out of a nonce. Yeah. Although, is it a life choice? Because, you know, I would argue it's... Uh, yeah, as, yeah. As I, don't think, I don't think people choose to choose to be a nonce. It'd be a, yeah. It would be a wild choice. Of course you yeah. choose to be a nonce. Like, shall I put my dick inside this woman or a child? You choose to act on it, yeah. but I think, like, having the oh, impulse... Right. yeah, I get that. You know, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, I think that that's a thing that just happens to you. It's not, it doesn't excuse it, but, like... Uh, no, I get that. Yeah. Yeah, I think like you know, I don't. I don't reckon anyone's going. You know, my life's just not working out. I think I need a change. Maybe I'll just like try being a pedo. Yeah. Like maybe have like a pedo phase at college. Is like you know, like a girl yeah. who gets off with a load of lasses at a party just to be crazy. New like Year's you know what? I'm so wild. I'm just gonna bum a kid. I he's don't know. A nonce. I'm just having a great party. Let's wank off a child. It's not a nonce. It's just a phase he's going through. Yeah, just having a bit of fun. Downloaded thirty-five thousand images to nineteen devices. Binge you weirdo. <laughs> Watch it in a week. It'll be fucking grandmas. <laughs> I like the thought of him doing it as a New Year's resolution. Yeah. New Year, new me. Yeah. Like, I did have a phase where Just I Just would... do it for Lent. Yeah. <laughs> 40 days, I'm giving up adults. Doing it for Jesus. <laughs> he died for our sins. This is a fucking to sin. To be honest, if you go by, uh, you know, the way the church has been acting, God fucking loves it. Oh, he loves you know, the nonsense. If yeah. God, like, is all powerful and created everything, surely the one thing he definitely is in charge of is his own church. That He's got to have a handle on that. Yeah. And they fucking love bumming kids. I think he delegates the church though didn't he to like Satan nonces. by the looks of it yeah. yeah well he clearly has yeah and they just sort of shuffle him round like nonce three card Monty <laughs> in it. that's how they go they go ooh the pedo's over here you can't get him <laughs> which one's the nonce ooh, ooh. is it all three you're right yeah. you're right yeah <sighs> what have you been up to Rob in your life <laughs> <laughs> I moved house oh yeah moved house homeowner right. now I imagine that you were very stressed yeah. yeah oh god alright I fucking hated our movers right they were right fucking set of cunts well like there was one guy who was a cunt there was two lads who were dead good right so it was like a boss with an earpiece wanker well like a bluetooth headset bluetooth like a taxi headset. driver yeah 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 what yeah, a cunt yeah cunt right and then uh, he's got like two young lads who how are important is his job right moving fucking boxes that he can't I just know. put one down so just I can old, 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 well, was not doing... using his arms a no, lot. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Put the box he down. Wasn't. He was stood next to the van making two young lads do all the work and it was pissing me off. Because, like, even yeah. if you're the boss, you should fucking pick up a lamp or something, you know, like, do some fucking graft. So the charge yeah. is a shitload, right? Uh, like, it was well expensive. He turned up with the van half full and was annoyed we had stuff, right? <laughs> right. What was it full with? I, like, it was full with someone else's shit. Fuck off. It just had loads of, like... 
this lorry was half full of other shit, right? So when he turns up and he goes, oh, you've got a lot of stuff. And we're like, yeah, it's a house. Yeah, a moving <laughs> we're moving house. house. Yeah. We've got to move all of it. That's how this works. Right, and bear in mind, we weren't moving any sof sofas or armchairs. We weren't moving any white goods. We weren't moving any big furniture. We don't have any kids. Two of us live there. It wasn't Why that the much stuff. Why the fuck did you get someone to help you, you lazy cunt? Because I'm a lazy cunt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, what did you even have to move? Could have just like, put it in a suitcase. Nah, we, had, we did have a lot of stuff. We got a lot of shit. You He's know. got a lot of clogs. Yeah, yeah a lot yeah. of clogs. Big, big clogger. Yeah. So <laughs> Your clothes are quite big as well. Yeah, yes, that's it. <laughs> yes, because my T-shirts are large. That's why we needed a van. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, we just lay, lay down my trousers flat. <laughs> so we needed a stretch limo. Is that it? Is that Fact, it? Fact You're moving a fucking thimble, tubes. did you, you cunt? I think carpet tubes that come in. <laughs> yeah. All of his clothes. Also, I imagine that a lot of stuff that when you were moving, you found so much stuff that you th previously thought was lost. 100%. Because you're constantly losing stuff. Always. What I mean, was the like best me? thing you found that you, you thought was lost? Uh, picture of me at school for his tits. <laughs> <laughs> Have you brought it with you? No. Oh. I did find that while I was packing those. I don't tell the missus about that one. Are you like me, though? Because yeah. you got ADHD, I got yeah. ADHD. And when I find stuff that I didn't remember that I had, yeah. I've got to, I've, I've spent the next two, three hours I doing did, something with that. I did meds before I uh, did the packing. So I could uh, do it because I, I don't do meds very often. Uh, but I was like, uh, this one, I know I'll get distracted needed. like that. Yeah. So I just needed to be able to go. Uh, but yeah, so like this guy, right, he's got his little earpiece and there's uh, two lads. You're just double checking that's running. Is it running? Yeah. You're right, cool. Fucking hell. I wasn't going to carry on <laughs> with the story. Now's the perfect you know? time to check. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Fucking half an hour into the episode, you lost spanner. It was running. I just he's got it. so little to do and he still fucks it up every right. time. I'm very hungover today. I've got very yeah. bad anxiety. He's got to stand up and, on that chair, yeah. though. <laughs> and the anxiety then of have I turned that camera yeah. on just got too much. I like yeah. the just, just, just keep, just do that again with your hands because I like the way that that makes you look like one of the Muppets. That's <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to be a Muppet. You do look it. Yeah. Um, and you like having a band's hand up your ass. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Whoa. So, uh, <laughs> so, right, yeah. So there's this dude with the earpiece, two young lads who are doing all the work, right? And like uh, this, so I'm already like annoyed. We've paid a lot of money, right? And like, you know, the, the van's, he's moaning. And it gets to a point where he's filled the fucking van. And he's like, right, well, this last stuff can't go in the van. I'm like, what do you mean? And he goes like, can you get something in your car? And I was like, I guess, right? So I'm like taking a box of shit to my car and I'm not happy. Yeah. And the guy goes to me, hey mate, don't let the stress get to you. And I had to, <laughs> I had to do a breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, count to ten as I walked to the car holding this box, just like. Oh. Huh. And my missus is such a nice person; she didn't understand why I was furious. I'm glad both of you immediately understood why I was livid. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, be yeah. stressed if you hadn't filled your fucking van before you came here, you little rat, yeah. right? And he also goes. Oh, you got loads of stuff here. Like, if I'd known, you would have been charged a bomb. And I was like, "Sorry, unless like unless these two lads are on a hundred quid an hour each, you're making a fucking killing right now." It's like it was fucking insane. Did you? Did he? Because usually they'll come round and price it up first. He didn't come round, but we told him what we had. We gave him a full list. Who? So did he offer to come round and you said no, or he just never? It was just pretty last minute. So like, you know, he didn't. That's his own fault. Yeah, it's his own fucking fault. He should be able to estimate it. He and should, we did estimate. Yeah. Just assume. No, yeah, that's what I mean. He should be able to. Yeah, yeah and he was like, he was already well expensive. Turn up and you oh, he's, this guy's taller than I expected. Yeah. <laughs> We've not got space for those well, long trousers. Well. Tubes of clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Too tall, people. <laughs> <laughs> so like, so right. I, 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 on the way, right, my car's now full of shit, so I can't see out the back, right. I'm like uh, going out from my old gaff, like round the corner, like the streets are really tight. There's cars on both sides, and a guy just like drives towards me and just doesn't stop. So I have to like quickly duck between two cars because I can't see. Fucking scrape my car on another motor. I'm already livid. I've had a little minor car crash. Hang on a minute. I lose no. my head. You I lose my head. Yeah. Game's gone. You just said you couldn't see out the back. Yeah. How's back and side. So I just, oh, right, I wasn't, side as well. I also, I'm, I've only had this car for like a couple of months. It, like it's got sort of flared arches at the back. So it's a little bit uh, weird you're at the You're back. making it sound very cool. It is very cool, mate. Uh, it's, it's a, a brown Volvo. Volvo. It's a it's brown a Volvo. Volvo. <laughs> it's, a bra it's a very cool brown Volvo. I'm a very cool man, Ryan. <laughs> also. It's very, look, right. Okay. It gets a lot of miles to the gallon and it's got a five star safety rating. So sure. So, I just want to very I, cool. I, Safety's cool, guys. I you know what's cool? Say, Petrol efficiency. I just want to. Say, right? ULEZ exempt, motherfuckers. <laughs> Today, 
yeah. as I was walking here, yeah. uh, this is the first time, I think, not only to me, but in the entire history of planet Earth, because yeah. I get this shouted to me quite a lot on mm. the street. This is the first time in history that anybody has ever shouted ginger nonce at somebody yeah. from a Volvo. Yeah, yeah what maybe. was amazing about it as well, so I, I drove past uh, Ryan, so obviously I gave him a friendly greeting by calling him a ginger nonce, but I yeah. shouted ginger, he didn't even look up, right? Like, there was no flinch, like, not at all. It was only when I added nonce to the end <laughs> that he went, oh, that's for me. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even like, know it was, I just turned and waved. Yeah, he did, he just went, hello! <laughs> Hello, friendly stranger. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. So, yeah, I lost my head at that point. It was full on, like, you know, if I'm a football manager, I'm kicking the water bottle, I'm getting a yellow card for having to go to the third man, you know. It's fucking all... And so, like, I slammed my car door. Anyway, the guy was dead nice about it. I've got to fucking pay for his body work, obviously. It's my fault, you know, yeah. now fucking bad. So, yeah, I was in a right strap with that. I uh, didn't enjoy my day. The day of moving sucked, but new house is dead nice. It's all good. Fucking hell, though. I've made a really bad impression on my new neighbour. That surprises me. Yeah, instantly, right? So, like, what have you bad. done? Was it? Was it? What have, you, what have your racist impressions? <laughs> you came outside, right? Did I you had, do the I eyes the, again? I had the duct tape on my cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> so, not like I. Uh, so I, I haven't been round to like introduce myself properly yet. My missus has said hello to our next door neighbour, and she's dead nice, right? Dead sound like it's a family next door. But in our back garden, right, there's a there's a hedgerow that isn't grown in yet between us and the neighbours. So it's right. all like young plants. Yeah. So there's gaps between where our dog could just fuck off next door. So uh, I put in like a temporary mesh fence, right, first day we moved in on our side just to keep him in. But I didn't peg it down properly at the bottom, right? So like uh, on, on the night, on, on, that, on the second night we're in, right, I've not said hello to the neighbours yet. They don't know who we am. I've let the dog out for a shit, right, middle of the night. And he wanders off, and I realise, I'm playing on my phone, I realise it's been a while. Yeah. Right, I'm like, fuck. Because he's half blind, he doesn't know where he is yet, there's a park out the back he might have got into. And you you're know. in blackface. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's an evening, mate. It was a mud mask. <laughs> in the privacy of yeah. his own home, yeah. we can... Look, if I want to wear a mud mask and some lipstick, that's up to me. <laughs> so... Yeah, but you had a bone through your nose. So, right, it's for opening the airways. Anyway, right, so... <laughs> The grass skirt's just a look-alike. So I, I got right, I, I shit myself. I go, oh, fuck, right? Because he's a street dog as well, like, formally. So, like, he doesn't run off. A street dog? Yeah. Does this go with your cool car with the flared arches? <laughs> does, a street mate. dog. A street dog, mate. He's pretty street. Yeah, he's, he, he wears a lot of black north face. He's got a little <laughs> bum bag around his shirt. No, so, like, I was like, fuck, right? I run out and, like, I can't see him, right? And I, like, so it's fucking half one in the morning for context, right? And I'm like, shit. So I've got to start calling him. So I like, call, and like, he's got a command like, touch, like, which means he comes and touches my hand with yeah. his snoot. Touch, nothing. I can't even hear him. No one's going to hear him snuffling around. So I'm like, start panicking. I like, run out the front, you know, there's nothing on the road, run out the back, I get my torch out, start trying to look for him. I'm like, shame I got through that fence. So I'm like looking over into next door's garden with my torch. Uh. And that's when a light comes on <laughs> in their living room. My next door neighbour's there in a dressing gown. Yeah. And she looks out the back window. Hang just on, to see hang her. on. Let's, how old is she? She's, uh, I don't know, late 20s, early 30s. Okay, can I get more about this dressing gown? Yeah, no, she, like, <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll tell you more off air, mate. Okay. Nice. So she looks out, though, to see me... Like leaning over her, <laughs> her hedge with a torch, just a large, shaven headed man. And were you shouting, shouting touch? No, I was shouting, yeah, <laughs> I was shouting touch <laughs> over her fence. I'm going, touch, did she? Touch <laughs> over this hedge. <laughs> with a torch you'd be shouting, if surprised how compliant people can be she, when they're shocked. She, she just looks out, shocked, and I sort of go, Hi. <laughs> really sheepish. Because also, I'm Rob. It's also, I'm so stoned. Right? You've got to bear about. It's half one in the morning. I'm baked as a foot. I'm about to go to bed. I'm literally out for a piss, then off to bed. I'm. Fo I just go. Hi. She looks like that, and I just fucked off. And then I came back, and he just wandered back into the house. <laughs> so like, when I when I got back, in, I was like, fuck. It. He's just there, like, all right. I'm like you, little dickhead. He's I'm a like, street dog, isn't he? He's done that deliberately. Yeah, he fucking mate. The thing is, he's not fast, but he's wily. Yeah, like, like you know, out. like if you don't, if you take your eyes off him, he'll just fucking sneak off. So I've right. secured it all in now. But fucking hell, I need to go around with a bottle of wine and be like, hello, I'm Rob. I'm not a pervert. <laughs> I think well, not that kind of pervert. Yeah. I think a bottle of wine's probably not the right choice because that definitely sounds like you've put. 
roll hit belly. All right, bottle of bubble bath. <laughs> <laughs> bubble bath and a dildo. That's what you should give her. New dressing gown. Yeah, some uh, massage oil. A bunch yeah. of dildos. Bunch of dildos. There we go. Ta da. <laughs> I saw you what woman doesn't want a bunch of dildos? <laughs> <laughs> Treat your wife to a bunch of dildos. I can't wait till the petrol station starts selling. <laughs> People leaving them on this side of a road after a road yeah. after a traffic crash. For you, darling. <laughs> Throwing them at the wedding. <laughs> They throw the dildos. Nana catches them. Ah, Christ! <laughs> I'm next. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, I don't think I'm popular with that neighbour. So uh, there oh, you well. go. There's, there's it's, it, I think being friends with your neighbours can be overrated. Yeah, I don't want to be friends with them, but I don't want them to think I'm weird. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I, I see. I'm alright because my neighbour's more weird than me. Yeah, it's Blackpool. What? But, yeah, I don't live in Blackpool. <laughs> also, yeah, how? Right. That's a lie. Yeah. No. <laughs> right. They so, don't even kill the kids before they're fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just put them to sleep. Okay, you want, right. You want a warm, you weirdo. <laughs> fuck a cold kid. <laughs> In summer, you might. That's like eating a, <laughs> that's like like eating a, a warm pork pie. pie. <laughs> cool down. <laughs> Who eats a hot pork pie? Oh, fucking hell. So why are they weirder than you? Right, so he's only he lives on his own for a start. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's 17... Amazingly, yep. Ryan lives with people. Yeah. <laughs> They're, First of all, living on your own is out. mint, and he is a legend. Who's that? Mm -hmm. This guy who lives on his own. Oh yeah, his yes. Class. I would say not everyone who lives on their own is a legend. Let, mm -hmm. let, I'll tell you what. I'll I'll tell you all about him, and you mm -hmm. decide. Yeah. Okay. I think he's a legend, and I want to be him when I when I'm his age. He's okay. seventy four, right? right? Uh huh. Um, he's seventy four. He got robbed one night, um, and then he called the police. Yeah. So they Grass. came round. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, because Karma bites him on the arse here. Uh -huh. He called the police, and he, he's very much similar to you. You know, he, he wouldn't only call the police, but this guy had, uh, he felt a, such so aggrieved that he had to inform the police. Mm -hmm. He's one of these people that doesn't like the system, doesn't like police, doesn't believe in lawyers, yeah. all that kind of stuff. I think burglaries are one of the things that the police should do, well, yeah. and that they yeah. don't do enough, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, to, to be fair to him, they came round. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they what, come round, they go... Ah, shame this. Here's no. a crime number. No, better than that. Oh, yeah. They, oh, yeah. This, uh, this is what, That's what they should have done mm -hmm. under these circumstances. But what John did was John went, this is how I protect myself. Uh-oh. And he showed the copper what he'd made. He'd made a taser out of two AA batteries and a carrot. A carrot? A carrot. <laughs> Right, and he put this little so transformer. No, no, <laughs> yep, no. Yep. Your neighbour did not make a taser yep. out of a carrot. Fucking did. No, How he didn't make one. He made four. <laughs> <laughs> made oh, four. sorry. Sorry, that was the bit I found believable. If you have the ability to make a taser carrot, why would you only the make one? Right. Well, they, they bought them in a bag of carrots. Yeah, <laughs> He's you, know you can them. buy one carrot. You yeah. can get, but then you look weird. <laughs> What if the so, first sorry, taser doesn't work? One carrot and these batteries, please. <laughs> what if you've got multiple assailants? So how do you make a taser out of a carrot? Right, so what he's done, he's, sorry, he's gone to, uh, he's got his little, he's got his carrots and he's got his battery and a transformer and then he's wired What it batteries in. do you use? He's two, I think two or four AA batteries he uses. You used. could have to use four. You can't give enough of a zap well, off yeah, two. I don't think you need D batteries for yeah, a taser. Yeah, Well, no, D, but they're the same. D batteries are the same as AA batteries. Yeah, there's just, more, there's just two One and a half case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the... Um, the, the the difference is he's like how quickly the discharge. So that's what he's done. It's just a fast discharge for a taser. Yeah. Uh, so he's shown the copper this. Uh, the carrot, by Sorry, the way, is used to, for insulation. You need to you need to more explain this. Right. Yeah. So so the carrot oh so the carrot's the handle and you have like wire going through the carrot through the that carrot. is charged yeah. and you jab with Although uh, what, we're making one of these. I'll say, yeah, no I wouldn't, because carrots aren't quite as insulating as you'd first think. <laughs> and also He shocked the, himself with it, the knobhead, for a start. <laughs> But what he's done is he's showed the cop of this, and under the Firearms Act, yeah. it's classed as a firearm. He's made this, so he's got arrested. They've arrested him for having a dangerous you for manufacturing why, firearms. Why would you show the copper? Because he's, he's, this is how stupid why he is. Why would you show anyone? Why would you use a carrot? <laughs> this is There's how so stupid many he is. questions. Use metal. No, you can, no that what, doesn't work. What are you want, you fucking idiot? Hurt more. To insulate. The fucking You've got thing. to hold it. You oh, fucking he's spanner. holding the carrot. Yes. I you can't throw a you taser at someone. You don't throw a taser, you moron. Well, you fire a taser, don't you? You throw a taser. No, you Oh, I'm thinking of something else. You I'm no, the... the taser gun yeah. fires yeah. prongs on a wire. That's so they're connected. So it fires like scale prongs. Scale charges. But it's got wires after it. Right, the prongs. So yeah. it's still like a battery. You still need the wires. So the wires are going through the carrot handle and that's to protect the holder. Right. Like a cattle prong. So you can stab him. So you can go like, bap, bap. Like a cattle prong. Yeah. It sounds like a fucking sick prison. 
prison weapon, to be fair, if you could knock that up. I think carrots are banned in prison <laughs> for that reason. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no carrots in jail. I, th- I think there's probably a couple of reasons why you can't get a carrot in jail. Yeah. He's, he's, can he's, get no carrot carrots in, in the showers. <laughs> so, Easy to snu- smuggle. So, right, he's done this. He's done this. He's got he's got himself nicked. Yeah. They've charged him under the... The uh, Dangerous uh, Carrots Act. Ma- <laughs> manufacturing firearms. Right, and he's gone. To, they've, they've arrested him, and they've started going through his house. Yeah. He's got a grow in the loft. He's got a lake full of blunderbuss <laughs> shots. He's got a grow in the loft. He's, he's got, got a marrow cannon, <laughs> cauliflower bomb. He's shaved an aubergine into a shank. There's a sprout grenade that we're worried about. <laughs> yeah, he's putting sprouts in a shotgun. <laughs> Boff, like a load of peas. Just, <laughs> just chasing after a rabbit who escaped by drawing a hole yeah. in a wall. He's wearing sweet corn chain mail. <laughs> Sweet corn's the shop. Not oh, that's bad. true. Yeah. Can't, you make sweet you make chain mail out of spaghetti hoops. Sorry, I do apologize. Fuck's sake, you know yeah. nothing. So what did he have in his in So his he's, loft? he had a grow in his loft. So he had <laughs> <laughs> he had 14 plants in his loft. So uh, they then arrested him for that. But yeah, also just asparagus. But that, <laughs> right? you know, dangerous. So he's, he's got that. And then the next thing I know, our entire street has been shut off. Like there's 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 two coppers outside his house. There's an ambulance turned up. There's two police vans, another riot van has turned up, then three fire engines. What are the fire engines And they're engines all, st- I'll tell you, they're all stood outside in the garden. And I'm just, I just came out, like, I generally had something to do, which was find out what the fuck's going on. Yeah. So I went out and I just went, what's happened? Yeah. And they went, uh, I can't tell you. And I knew exactly what they were going to tell me because he's been trying Is to Is it make... about the carrots? No, it's, it's <laughs> even better than that. He's been trying to make flash cotton. You know what magicians use where it's just, you just go... Like they've got a piece of go, paper now. Go, poof, right, right. Yeah. He's been trying to make that. But right. they decided that He's this could bombs. be a bomb. Yeah. yeah. So they've had to shut the street down. They didn't tell us to evacuate. That's absolutely <laughs> fine. We're right next door to him. We're not like the same mm. building, but... Uh, He's got a, it's a semi-detached house. So the other side, they got evacuated. Yeah. We were fine. Um, and, and I stood there. Went, uh, is it the stuff that's in the kitchen? Right, can't tell you anything. Can't tell you anything. It's like, right, okay. And now, my dad used to be really high up in the fire brigade. So I knew how it worked. And I knew some of the fire bobbies. And they turned up. Uh, I was like, if it's the stuff in the kitchen, it's just flash cotton. And they went, right, okay. So they've come out. And it's been about four hours before the fire brigade actually got there. Uh, and came out and st- said everything was safe. Um, and they've come out and they've got, yeah, it's, it's just the stuff for the flash cotton. It's absolutely safe. You can you can open the street up and people can go back in their homes now. So this has all happened because he's made a taser out of a carrot. <laughs> he's gone to court, right? The judge has gone, right, we're not going to we're not gonna prosecute you for um, manufacturing firearms because like, it's, it's ridiculous. a carrot. <laughs> I don't want to write down that you've made manufactured firearms and you're in prison because you stuck some batteries to a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> However, it's such a fucking MacGyver way to go to jail. No. Like, he's like, what are you in for, mate? Ah, oh, string of uh, string of sex crimes, actually. How about you? Ah, oh, I fucked with a leak. <laughs> I robbed the post office yeah. with a cucumber. <laughs> I'm banned from owning veg. <laughs> That's it. You got to, you, the you police must... have sealed my veg drawer in my yeah. fridge. You've got an asbo that keeps you. You've got to stay 50 metres away from a greengrocer's. <laughs> when the veg offenders register. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gone to court and the judge has said, what I can't overlook is the cultivation of marijuana with the intent to supply. Because I have it here. No, don't don't forget. He doesn't believe in solicitors, so he's representing himself. Oh, always a good move. Yeah, so he's yeah, yeah. always a, a never goes advice, wrong. Bit of advice for anyone watching this: don't bother paying for lawyers. They're, they're charlatans. Represent yourself. Yep. You can do it. Always I believe in you. works. Never fails. Yeah. Free cable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the judge loves it if you if you try and fist bump him as you go into the dock mm, as yeah. well. Say objection as much as you can. Yeah, yeah. that's all you got to do. That's how you win a trial. Objection. Oh, objection. Please stand. Objection. Yeah. And whenever the judge <laughs> says something, shout objection. overruled. Yeah, overruled. That's what you do. And yeah. go in a dressing gown as well, a big furry dressing gown like yeah. the judge does. And you might do... think you're him. I'll let you out. <laughs> I rest my case. Also, the if defense. there's a jury, look at one of them for ages and go like that. With your, with your fingers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throat. If any of them are fit, make sure you let them know. <laughs> yeah, by showing them your hard on. Jury number seven. <laughs> I would do you. Wink at them. <laughs> would. Would. Yeah, go through the whole jury, yeah. rank them out of 10. <laughs> no, rank them on pints. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget the judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. make sure you let them know. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like prison rules, isn't it? On, uh, on the first day of the trial, go in and find the biggest, hardest guy and just knock him out. Let him know, make, let him know you're in charge. Yeah, or that with a jury. Yeah. <laughs> make sure you bring a carrot taser to really yeah. let him know you. Because they fit perfectly up your ass. They do. And the AA batteries as well. You could 
could just put them up because you don't want to put it in like charged. So you Obviously. can take the batteries out, start them up idiot. first. Oh yeah, don't put a fully charged yeah. taser up your ass. Yeah. So he's gone to court. <laughs> Judge has said, you know, I've been charged with uh, cultivation of marijuana plants with and the, the intent to supply. No, they've, they've told <laughs> you it's all that. Carrots is fine. Yeah. Uh, because as the the police have reported here that you had uh, seven marijuana plants, and he, he no word of a lie. He went. There was 14! <laughs> They've stolen seven of them! And the judge went, John, I, he didn't say John, he gave his surname. <laughs> I understand that you're representing yourself, but I, I please take this advice. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's so insane! He's got, I did loads more crimes! Yeah, so he's come over, he's gone over, he, he ended up on probation uh, mm. for 12 months. Uh, and now he doesn't live on his own, by the way. He's got some ducks. He bought some eggs off eBay. They hatched. Mm. He's now got. He had six ducks. Then he had three. I would argue still living on your own. Yeah, <laughs> six ducks. <laughs> yeah, the duck is three. not a housemate. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, no, yeah. he talks to him. Uh, they, they had six ducks. Yeah, look, we all talk to our pets. It doesn't mean like it doesn't mean like Bernie, my dog, is no. a man. No, <laughs> I think they win the argument though. This yeah. is the problem. Like it, they're winning arguments with him. Yeah. And I don't know what it, I th- I'm pretty sure it's about the price of oil or something ridiculous. Yeah. But, but what so we bought six like twelve eggs, six of them hatched. He had six eggs, six ducks, sorry, six baby ducks. Then a fox came and ate that three of them. So he bought some more, then he had seven, then a fox came and Is ate this a maths two. problem yeah. on a GCC question? Then he went over the river yeah. with a boat and he brought the because this yeah. uh, basically what he's feeds got is, back. He's got a pet fox that he feeds ducks. That's yeah. what he's got. <laughs> but so now he's got these seven ducks in his front garden. Um, and he's fenced, he's, he's closed his drive off with a bamboo sheet that he's made. Uh-huh. Uh, and he can't figure out how his ducks keep escaping, even though he's fenced off the gate. I had to point out to him that the things on the side of the ducks help them escape sure. the three foot wall that goes round his front You'll garden. Just jump and flap. Yeah, but you keep yeah. seeing him at like seven o'clock at night in his dressing gown. Going, and touch, boxer shorts touch. <laughs> <laughs> with a carrot. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why my name is more weird than me. Yeah, no, fair enough. He's definitely, look, he's up there. I don't know oh, yeah. I don't know if it's, I still don't know if Carrot Taser Duck Man is more weird than don't you. Don't forget the weed. He's, he's definitely in the league of. I still yeah. think he's a legend. Oh, he's a legend. Yeah, he is a legend. He also fixes the kids' class. phones when they break, because they break the phones every day, the little two. Yeah. Let me just get my toolkit out. Of here. Stick a celery. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell, that is mad. I'll tell you the maddest thing about that: someone in Blackpool having vegetables. <laughs> you live in Blackpool. Yeah. Oh no, you, know, you live in a nicer bit on the outside, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not yeah. stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. not going to fucking live in town. Oh. Jesus Christ! How has you? How have you found the reaction to your new fame from being on the Stag Do Special, Ryan Gleeson? I haven't noticed there was any because I don't. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I don't. I, I've I've never seen this. <laughs> <laughs> Not many people have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but like, yeah, with the like Ryan was. If you haven't seen the Stag Do special, fucking get it watched on Patreon. It was fucking well fun. Uh, fun. We basically Ryan and Tom had not met before this, and uh, <laughs> me and Freddie good mates with Ryan, so we knew that you, basically you, you are. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, I am, yeah. Uh, like, we basically, we wanted to freak Get out well soon, Tom. Freddie. Yeah, f- don't. Uh, we wanted to freak out Tom, so we thought we did only invite people he didn't know, and also, I just thought, who's the weirdest cunt I know? <laughs> well, that wasn't a prerequisite for the choice of people, was it? No, it was just heavily disabled. It was just whoever's disabled, we'll get them. Uh, it wasn't until I walked past him in the street, yeah. and I realised that, because I wasn't sure whether he might know who I was or not, mm-hmm. um, and when he had just completely had no idea, even though I'd just been dropped off in a big people carrier with Comedy Station Comedy Club on the side of it. Mm-hmm. Right Not out, very right, observant. Right next to him. I've got out of the car and he's got no idea who the fuck. I've got a tattoo of the of the comedy club on my arm as well. He still well, had no idea. But when I that was the him, thing that he eventually he said started that, yeah. to tweak. Uh, yeah. So I spun him a yarn. You were a fan of yeah. the club. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, they said that you were a fan of the show. Yeah. And then... Obviously, you were there, but I'm you probably, probably haven't seen it. Ryan was so weird that day. He, <laughs> was there, was a, there was a point where I was like, I think he's a comic, but he could just be the weirdest man. Honestly, you, you you stayed in it so long that he eventually, like, he went through waves. He started off, who's I this weird him. cunt? Yeah. Then eventually he's like, oh, it must just be a comedian. though. he's really yeah. funny. And then by the end of the day, because you'd not broken once, no. in, like, he was just like... There's no way they know someone this good at acting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was it. That was literally it. I was, I was like, like, you're either the greatest actor in the world or yeah. the weirdest man in the world. No, it's planned. just we didn't act him to act that much. We didn't <laughs> we act just, him to act at all. I no, hadn't planned just... on it until I saw you in the street and decided yeah. on my way in. Because I came in, I was like, he's got no idea who I am, and I've told him I'm not going to tell him. Yeah. So just... 
don't tell me who I am whatsoever. And then you I just, just decided to go weird for no yeah. reason. Yeah. He only, to be honest, you only went up one or two points on the weird scale. That's a fucking lot, though, isn't I it? know, it is a big leap. It's like the Richter scale. It's exponential. Well, not yeah. even, it's not even a big leap. It's just yeah. fucking high up. Because exactly. I'm already weird as fuck to start Already with. a nine, he went to a ten. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I went to 11. It was fucking brilliant. It was very I was, fun. Yeah, I, I went into the kitchen at one point and I could hear you were talking to... Um, Oh, is it Brett? You yeah, were talking yeah, yeah. to Brett. Brett, was... by the way, put together this special film yeah. to edit it. Did, an did an a fucking job. amazing job. Shout out, Brett. And I could hear you saying to Brett, like really whispering it, like, and, and I've never heard anybody so scared. And he just went, "I really thought he was acting, but I, gen- I, re- I don't think he is." He was a hundred percent serious. <laughs> really this is scared. it because there's a bit. Uh, there's a bit where we're sat opposite each other on a table. Oh God, we, we just fucked up. We just left, left you two yeah. for about forty minutes. Forty-five minutes. Yeah, we just we were just like me and Freddie were like, let's just let him sweat. But well, there like, was a just... lot that was cut out. There was, there was, oh, hundred percent. We had to cut some out because yeah. it was so long. But there was there was some amazing bits. We should we should maybe like release an extended cut for the patrons at some point because there <laughs> yeah, is yeah. a lot of just that, that conversation. Just we, that, that's we what I mean. Put that conversation. That's what I mean. Is about 40 minutes long and it's, it's so insane. Funny. There's like, an amazing we... bit with the party popper that you didn't see. Yeah. Like, oh I've, I've, yeah, the party popper. I've I've heard I've heard of it. It was fucking <laughs> great. I was willing to go blind for my art. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we we, were, we left them to stew for that long because we knew you'd just do loads of weird shit and we could just cherry pick the best bits <laughs> for the special and also it just unsettle him because he's expecting us we to be that. on him all the time. So just changing the tempo and just keeping him unsettled by just leaving this long slow bit where he's got to like slow boil yeah. we were just constantly trying to make it unsettling in every way we could <laughs> i think we really nailed that didn't we oh yeah yeah i think <laughs> i think maybe like the 10 most embarrassing things i've ever done were all in that special and they're all on the internet forever it's now. insane oh, it yeah. was wild the bit i don't want to do any spoilers for people have not seen it but yeah, the bit they've in had the, a week or two now the bit in the middle of the night it was unbelievable ridiculous and some we, of the best footage anyone's ever shot of anything well, yep. should we just say it we, we just say it. Uh, no. I think we'll no, leave I it in case they it. haven't seen it well, because it is an amazing the people who have seen it we didn't know that that had happened until we got back oh yeah we didn't know footage. on the day we thought it, we'd uh, that bit just hadn't worked with the because uh, like, like, basically the there is a lot of stuff that didn't work that didn't make the special because like the way that I think you can say what you'd set up Without oh, yeah, we set up a load of alarms, basically, yeah. to fuck with Tom. And we thought he just slept through them because he did. He but didn't he had, remember he had anything. cameras in his bedroom. And we had filming. a camera in his bedroom yeah. filming it. And that captured some All night. amazing footage. But, um, so, like, basically, like, the way we planned it was, <laughs> I knew, because of, like we were doing that many pranks, I knew some of them wouldn't come off because, like, that's just the nature it of it. It was a shotgun approach, wasn't it? Exactly. So I did so many pranks. That about 50% of them worked and made the special. There's loads of shit that didn't work. Like, the electric fly swat didn't zap you yeah. and stuff like that. That was rubbish, wasn't it? It was rubbish. Should've piece used a of carrot. Shit. You should have <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't know, mate. I didn't know. I was so well involved. I didn't even think. I know. He's only had brought one. I offered to make one. Yeah, you did actually at the yeah. time. That's in the special. Uh, but yeah, so like, there's loads that didn't work. So we just assumed it was one of those. And I was gutted because that was one of the big ones that I thought would be really fucking funny. And I was like, ah, shit, that just didn't work at all. Anyway, you know, we've got enough shit. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. And then when Brett watched the footage back, we just got this text in the group <laughs> chat. I was just like, I found some good footage. <laughs> and it's fucking amazing. It's when, probably... when he sent me that message, I saw the first line was, the first line terrified me because mm-hmm. I thought it was going to be something else. Mm. And then what it actually You thought was, you were going to be having a wank? I thought there was going to be footage of me wanking. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I was really hoping for that. I was hoping for that. But yeah. there wasn't. There wasn't. No, he was too pissed for any of that to be happening. <laughs> like, there was no chance you I were able I sat watching to... the special with my cock out ready. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it was fucking wild. Like, I've seen Tom in some conditions. That night, we got you fucking wrecked. That's it? maybe one of the drunkest I've ever been. I it was think. a mess Mate. before you left the house. Oh, God, yeah. Like, yeah. absolutely blackout before we went. Like, my favourite shot in the whole thing that makes me laugh so much is the bit where you're puking. Oh, no, like, yeah. <laughs> Just the, yeah. from the bottom of the screen. Like, it's... a bull clip. It's fuck me. That, I actually I've watched that, that bit. I've watched that like 30 times I just keep watching it on a loop and crying <laughs> laughing it's, I think that needs to be turned into a gif I think oh 100% we need one of those oh, it's right. like it was so fun just fucking with Tom the whole time uh, like it was mad stressful doing the special because I don't normally have to do that much planning because obviously Tom like you know his, me- his job's meant to be like sorting stuff out because you were the only planning. sober one I was the well, only I, sober you one you and me but I couldn't really help with much exactly you were, you were busy so I had to sort of like be in it and sort of like do what Tom normally does producing it It was because stra- Freddie's incompetent yeah. So like you know, he's left to make. So it's Freddie str- did a good job. He got the beers in. He did do a good job in lo- Freddie's main job. Didn't he get the location sorted? He did. He rented the place. And look, he did his uh, the little bits we gave him. Well, his main job was to drink with Tom because we knew the body weight. <laughs> well, he would didn't do that. Win out. 
you know, we, we knew that if he went shot for shot with Tom, Tom's fucked. Oh, so, yeah, like, because Freddie is a big fat cunt with an alcohol problem and AIDS. <laughs> so, uh, so we did that. So He's that like was a his walking main thing. pickled egg, isn't he? So, yeah, it was like... And oh, I, he didn't I, walk. Yeah. <laughs> a waddling pickled egg. And constantly through the whole thing, whilst everything's going on, I'm just running pranks. Yeah. I'm always doing something else. So I was always going... It was so fun, though. Once I started getting into it, the days running up to it, stressful as fuck. Once I was there and I was just hurting Tom all the time, I was having a whale of a time. <laughs> I think the beauty of it was that we'd got him that worried and that scared of yeah. me that you were you could then just I was run just off ghosting and do in. stuff and he wouldn't even know. I was ghosting in and out. Yeah. This was it. You were you were focused over here, so I just sneak. I up was this magician's shit. hand while you were there yeah. hiding the double. It was up amazing. Your ass. The, the bull clips and the shooting. Yeah. I on, love the bullet. On, clips. On a, you're lucky I didn't come with the shooting. I showed you the gun. I didn't know. I? You, well, you Barry Dodds was going to come with an air rifle, yeah. but he couldn't make it. It wasn't as end. good as mine, though, yeah. was it? <laughs> you must remember there was bits where, during the night where, because you'd shot me and bull clipped mm-hmm. me so many times and hurt me so many times out of nowhere, mm-hmm. I would just start flinching I know, because it was I thought, so funny. And, and no one well, was like even doing backs. anything. I'd, I know. No, I just, I I just lift it was the drink. I'd just lift the drink to my mouth and you'd flinch. It was so funny. There's also a bit that loves dogs. A bit that we sort of cut just to keep it like, we just wanted to keep it snappy and entertain all the way through, innit? Like, the, there's a bit where, like, Tom started to get hammered and started to get really, like, belligerent and go producer Tom. And, like, <laughs> yep. it was really funny. Yep. So, like, it was like after, like, we'd had, like, the stripper. And we it was were, in the front room, wasn't it? The front yeah, room. Yeah. We were going to go out, right? And Tom's like, we need we need to say we're going out so we can edit this in. We need a bit where we say it. And we're like, shut Stand up, Tom. And, it's fine. People will notice now. that do we're not in anymore. Now. And he's like, no, we've got to do an outro for this bit. And he got so stroppy. Yeah. <laughs> and he, like, he was really like, I'm a producer. I know what I'm doing. You turned into like, the, the, the head girl on a school was, trip. It was yeah. fucking, yeah. It was like, no, it's my special day. We need Mr. To, Jones said, we've yeah. got to get on the coach. Get on the coach now. So we let him try and do one. And like, there is there is about, take the one you see in the special is what, take 30? Maybe. Yeah. That's a, <laughs> that's a conservative so estimate. It was in a different room. It was Yeah, we kept doing it in different rooms. He kept trying to get through it and me and Freddie are just hitting him with shit <laughs> constantly. Would not stop hitting him with stuff, shooting him, throwing stuff at him. So like, yeah, it took that many takes and that's why he's like in the intro. It's like, now we're going, we're going out. We're, uh, we're going out. It's so oh, funny. It that was amazing. It, it was amazing to watch some, I've never seen somebody like, Basically, just disintegrate. <laughs> you brought me mentally, Dad. Yeah, we really Physically, did. Physically, I was all right until the very end. The last thing we did oh, fucked yeah. you up. It fucked my back up so bad. I, yeah. I couldn't walk for days. I got stuck in the bath. I right raped night. him. The image of little Tom with his little legs stuck in the bath makes me <laughs> laugh so hard. Just this little fat little turtle <laughs> stuck all in there. <laughs> Having to get his missus to lift him out because well, his back doesn't I work. Because she, she wasn't in. Yeah. So, so I, could, I just couldn't get out of the bath. So I, I was in there for like an hour like, like, what happened? Did you, somebody takes, take your ladder out? <laughs> eventually, eventually. It takes me and Freddie, I got stuck in the bath and you, you can want, imagine the sympathy. Yeah. That came in. Oh, man. <laughs> if you want, I've got like, because my kids are a bit bigger now, yeah. I've got one of those little, um, like, they're like a little floating seat that you put them in for the bat in the bath. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so if you want, I can yeah. give you You're just going to have to get a bath with a door in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You need a stair lift. The race yeah. then, but you got like, that's what I reckon that's why so many old people die because you got to sit in it while the water drains mm. out and that's how they get pneumonia. <laughs> yeah. Like, who thought a door on a... Yeah, yeah it's a great idea for getting in because you, yeah. you just walk in. Yeah, but then you've got to see it while it fills up. Yeah. And then you always get it too hot, so your ankles get burnt. Yeah, burnt ankles. Or you burn your testicles. You've got that thin old lady skin as well. So yeah, like tissue quick. paper. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that makes hot. me... Hot. Yeah. That's, I don't want to be old. I think I'm just going to kill myself at some point. Yeah, that'd be good. Nah, someone yeah. else will do it. Yeah. Yeah, probably. If you're going to kill yourself, can I do it? Can I watch? Uh, Can I just like volley you off a cliff or something? Can we have you someone? Here's the, here's the pitch, right? Here's what I want to do, Go right? On. So we stand next to a cliff, right? Yeah. Uh, someone, you could do this. Okay. You put your finger like on it. his head, like you know when uh, Charlie Brown <laughs> is punting a football. Yeah. And I'll just run up. Hey, 32, 32, 48, go. And I'll run up and I'll just fucking boot you. And he'll just go, whee! <laughs> oh, well off the that. cliff. That sounds well fun, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, we Tom, could get... suicide special. <laughs> suicide special, get on Patreon. We could get like a, um, we could make a catapult on Blackpool yeah. Beach and see if we can twang him to the Isle of Man. That sounds good. Yeah. Let's skim him. Or I'll skim me. Or we get a whole bag of carrots. <laughs> we'll of AA We've made an electric chair out of carrots. Why don't we test AA versus yeah. size D batteries? Yeah, there we go. We can try them both. Idea, yeah. I like it. Uh, so yeah, it was fucking great. This dog special. It, like it worked better than I thought it was gonna. I, I thought yeah. you know. I thought it might. It was one of those where I was like, I'm not sure we can pull this up. It, I think it's fucking funny. I really. It Do you know what I really yeah. felt sorry for though? Out of everybody, not yeah. not Tom. Yeah, it was 
Um, I can't remember her name, and I feel so bad for not remembering her name. Madeline. Uh, Madeline, yeah. the camera. Yeah, yeah. A camera. She was there more for experience, wasn't she? Yeah. She was, and it was just uh, five smelly men shouting rape jokes at each other. <laughs> I, I wasn't smelly. <laughs> also, Ricky Balshaw, who was on it, like, he, right, the thing is, Ricky wasn't on it much, because, like, unfortunately, right. Yeah, like, it was a shame that. It was, it was a shit that, because, like, Ricky, uh, like, we love Ricky, and he's dead funny, uh, but he got some really fucking bad news, like, right as he arrived. Basically, yeah. we filmed yeah. like one little bit with him, and then like so. Ricky is a former Paralympian. I mean, as bad news goes, it's not really the worst news you've ever had. But I, I think I in it. this context, I get why it was bad for him. Oh, yeah, for him yeah, right yeah. off, because yeah. I like, uh, Ricky's a former Paralympic silver medalist in dressage. He's, uh, he's still a he's, he's still he's still paralyzed though. Oh, he's still yeah, he's still yeah. fucked. His legs are ruined. He's not like Absolute a former rubbish. Paralympic that just got better. Rubbish legs. So like he's so, but uh, he, <laughs> his legs are worse than my morals. <laughs> <laughs> so he, uh, he yeah, basically the horse that he won that medal on died like the minute he got into the house he got that text mm. oh and, like, that room it was yeah. that mate the minute he I got thought it been like early that day no so we literally day. filmed that first bit where he came in and fell over we we're gonna do more shit like we were gonna get him to like fall off the toilet with his pants down and get you to go pull him up for him. <laughs> like that was a bit we planned so like we had like loads of shit planned and there would have been loads more funny ricky stuff so if you watched it and go oh why is he only in it for a second basically yeah like he had to go away and deal with all that like you know because it's you know it's it's, it's his horse he's known forever it's yeah, like his yeah. you know they're bonded. It's dead hard to flush him down the toilet it is like, mate. <laughs> this is it. it got stuck so yeah. we had to go plunge it we were thinking of like Putting it, I wanted to put at the yeah, end of the special, the like, uh, you know, uh, Ricky had to go back to his home planet, boop, 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 like Poochie, and then do an yeah. in memoriam to the dead horse. <laughs> so, RIP Ricky's horse. I was looking forward to that bit at the end, and I was disappointed it wasn't there. Yeah. Well, you know, it was I, think the ending were, I think the ending worked very the well. The ending was perfect. Great. Yeah. Really good. A little song. Yeah, unfortunately, though, there was another bit we tried to pull off that didn't quite happen. We were going to, while you were tied up, have Ryan arrive and just, like, f- fuck with you while you were tied up. Right. Unfortunately, you're back, uh, you back, you, were, you know, you were hurt. I so would, it, we, it hurt a lot. So we had to, we had to pull you down before Ryan arrived. Ryan yeah. came as quick as he could. He, he arrived a little bit after you got down, did he? But like, uh, you know, we tried. It was fucking great. Fun. I arrived on it, motorbike. It, you did. It didn't hurt that much when I was up there. It hurt when I came off. It, it, when you I was were up fucking there, moaning while that's you were it, up you there. You should have kept. No, it's there. because yeah. I couldn't breathe. That's why. Because you did it so tight, and I've had. We had to do a tight skip. Serious you lung operations. Hang on. Oh, hang on. I've had hang serious on. lung operations. Can I just point this out? Right. I've had the same operation as him. Have you? Yeah. I could, Time me to a lap post now and see how long I yeah, can last. Yeah, let's fucking go. To be fair, you don't weigh anything. He's got a fat little tum. Yeah. He's, He's got, got his got fat little tum, to do with tum the operation. And stumpy little legs. <laughs> Did he scrape your chest line as well? Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's a bit that... Because my, yeah. my nerves are all fucked from that. Yeah, yeah I ain't got bad nerves, don't you? Yeah. I met Tom's dad last night. It was fucking oh, weird. I don't know really what sort of said How alone. tall is he? He's like, right, he's the way thing, smaller than me. No, he's fucking not. He is. He's five foot three. He's way I'm, smaller than me. You're five foot three. Is your oh, family I... the little monkeys that used to advertise PG tips? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They is one are... of them a mover that plays a bit. Was one of them? Does he have a Bluetooth headset? Well? <laughs> 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 Just actually. <laughs> uh, look, like, it was so weird because he wasn't introduced to his Tom's dad. I just knew it was like he's a little photocopy. It's like, like you ran Tom through an app. It's so <laughs> yeah. weird. He just goes, hello. And I was like, all right. <laughs> I was like, he had the same little cheery Warrington smile. It was just the exact Warrington same. Warrington smile? Yeah, yeah, with a razor blade. <laughs> <laughs> it was so mad. It was so mad being him, like, just like, fuck. And, like, your missus' mum looks identical to her as well, spotted her straight away. Do you think? I don't think they look alike at all. I'd have, um, I'd have known what you were talking about, but... Uh, I knew, I knew who invited. she was without being introduced. Yeah, didn't, didn't, yeah. didn't want me to come. Like, you know, why is you sound really upset now? I'm not upset. I'm just surprised. <laughs> she, looks, she looks very similar to her sister, I'd say, but not her mum. Ah, I think she does. Yeah, I think there's like uh, a lot of facial features that really stood up. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, because they're both minging. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. They both look like Ricky Balshaw's I don't think horse. they're going to listen to this. No, 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 they won't be listening to this. <laughs> Um, and you know she's much too good for Tom being oh, yeah. an adult human woman yeah <laughs> she's grown up like is she normal she height she is yeah well no she's like uh, you know she can't be like a normal human height to go out with Tom <laughs> you know, she's like uh, about, about the same size as you is she not yeah no, she's smaller yeah. she's shorter than you yeah, yeah. Oh, Tiny perfect. little people. Yeah, you can, we need to have a double like date with my missus who's six two. It'd be so funny. It'd be like the for. film Twins yeah. at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like one day uh, we'll all have kids and my kids will dominate his. <laughs> you, know what? you should carry him around in a little box. Uh, I'd love to strap you in a papoose one day. Can we That'd do that? Be That'd yeah. be so funny. You just dangling off my front. <laughs> How bet, funny. He's so, although he's although he's short. It's I fucking bet, heavy. I he's dense. the Tanya Lee situation, yeah. Like he's new fucking Trump dense, yeah. yeah. What do you weigh? I don't know. You don't know? I don't really weigh myself very often. Mm. 
when did you last do it? Know, you must have an ago. estimate. Yeah. I, I think I'm about 75 kilos, maybe. What's 70? that in stone? I don't know. Well, I'm like, I'm, I think I'm like nearly 100 kilos. I'm about 15, 16 stone. I'm, I'm, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm amazed if this is... Seven and a half stone. Fuck off. Yeah. 11. I'm amazed it's that much. 46.4 kilos. Yeah. 11 and a half stone. Well, right. just stick 46 For a short, and a half kilos. In what's 46. your BMI, Tom? Let's work your BMI out. <laughs> just hang on. Come let's on. get, get 46.4 kilos. Yeah, 46.4 kilos. Put it into the mass. See the bit where it says kilograms? Right. There you put go. it there. Put it there. There you go. 44.6 kilos. Yes. Yeah, oh, seven. seven yeah. Pretty much seven bag on. You're like less than half me. Do you know why I can't get life insurance? Because my BMI is so low. It's yeah. in the red. Right. Yeah. There's only four Indian and three Chinese children that can calculate my BMI. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like, I've a look, right? Stick Tom's in first and we'll yeah. stick mine in Call after. A BMI calculator. Let's see how fat you are. Right. <laughs> Come on. Wait Let's see if Tom is a beast. There's like a chart and you can do that. No, just chart. do the calculator. The chart is His better. BMI's so yeah, high, he's got one. type 17 diabetes. Right. Here we go. How is the chart better than a calculator? Because then we can do them all the same Why you on a chart? Yeah, you're a fucking idiot. No, I've got, I was like school now. It's shit. Right, so how much How much do you weigh, Tom? So what was I before? 75. You're five foot six, we measured you. So I'm about here. Yeah. 75, uh, five foot six. Ooh, you're in yellow. I'm in yellow. I can't overweight. overweight. Ah, you fat cunt. <laughs> I bet you can't see me on that. He's an overweight fat cunt. I bet you can't see oh, me no, on you're that. You're probably the lower that. end of overweight. Don't, mate, they don't even have six, seven on this, right, so this calculator isn't fucking useful. They can't do me. Yeah, they can't do me. Get, get the calculator up. You fucking idiot. Okay. You fucking useless cunt. <laughs> just, just imagine if you've got a grown-up to do this job. I know. Why is he typing it out full? It's right there. Anyway, there we go. NHS yeah, at least one. he didn't use that one there that he go. sticks to his head to type. Calculator. Right. Here we go. Six feet seven. Six feet seven. Uh, and we'll go 15 and a half stone. So I was 15, eight. Because I vary between 15 and 16. Age, 21. <laughs> Sex, yeah, yeah. yes, please. Yeah. Bangladeshi. <laughs> uh, Black Caribbean. Room. White. I am a full white. You. Oh. Oh. Healthy oh. weight. Hey. Ding, ding, ding. Ma, 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 Let's do. Ma, 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 ma. As I'm being Freddy, I think we should do Freddy's first. Yeah. So four foot four. <laughs> Ninety-eight <stone>. stone. <laughs> uh, so what's yours, Tom? How many feet in it? Five foot six. I'm not five foot six. You five are five six. Seven. We five measured you on camera. I'm five foot seven. You're five foot six. I measured you on camera. Put no. Fuck off. Get that inch down. I'm five foot seven. You're not. I measured you. Have we got a tape measure. Yes. I'm at, I'm at, I measured him on camera, he's five foot six. I got measured at the hospital, they said it was five foot eight. I think that is overreaching. It's five foot six. I measured you. I measured you. Five foot six. Stop cheating. It's five six. Five six. Stop Look cheating. Look at even got Stop that. cheating, Tom. You're five six. He's even got Stop a Tom size WD 40 on his desk. Oh, Look that's at really that. funny. Little mini WD 40. You're five six. Put another pound on then to make up for that inch. Should we put five foot six point five? All right, fine. We'll compromise. I don't know if you can. No, you can't. Just do six. I'll just do six. You just gone five. Just 11. do six. Stop cheating. I'm rounding over six point five. Right, if you oh, rounded it up, then you've got to put an extra uh, pound on At for your high heels. At least put you're Pakistani. You don't put other. You're white. I'm Native American. You're not Native American. My, the, I've told you this story. How I am touching kids. <laughs> I've told you this before. I think I've said it on the podcast. Yeah, I know you got like a Native American relative. But yeah. You're yeah. Not, how you're far not, back is it? You're not other. You're white. Ages. You're white. Like how you're many? White. How many grandparents? It's like great granddad is maybe. So you're an American. Eighth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. White. So we round it up to white. Okay, yeah. If we round it up, okay, I'll give you a white. You're Caucasian, I'll give you a white. I'll give you a right? White. Much as I'd love you to be another ethnicity, we get a grant. Ah. Overweight, you oh, fat right cunt. On the right on you're the edge. Still, you're right on the yeah, edge. Yeah, but you're in it. I bet mine. What, What's it? What words does it say? Be... Your results suggest you're overweight. And overweight's in bold as yeah. well. Yeah, right. yours is going to be. Uh, we suggest right you're dead. Yeah. Check for like you are a corpse. Check for a pulse. I mean, this is skewed because mine's just pure. It's not skewed. You like this is the thing that fat cons always go. It's like, oh, they don't work for everyone. Yeah, they don't work for like <laughs> bodybuilders and rugby yeah. players. Like me. Like bodybuilders. Um, just pure muscle, baby. Pure muscle. Pure, pure muscle. muscle. Why You can't do the truffle shuffle with muscle. <laughs> Nobody's got <laughs> a one little pack bitch. that big. <laughs> you fucking fat little gnome. Pure muscle, baby. Just Overweight, relaxed. officially. 5'11". Uh, 5'11". Yeah. There we Weight. go. Wait, what do we say? Seven, Seven stone. stone. Seven stone. Zero what? pounds. Fucking hell. How old are you? Uh, 42. 42. Yeah. It's too old. Male. Male. Uh, White. White. Yeah. Ginger. Ginger, the most white. Can we Actually, put, can we click white twice? There's a guy over the road that's Native American, so I might put other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look how far Fucking the hell, it's literally the bottom yep. marker on it. And that is why I can't get life insurance. Fucking hell. Your healthy weight range is like, you need to put on like three two and a half stone. stone. Yeah. yeah. 
Two and a half stone uh, just to get to in the healthy. lower end. Yeah. And he's got he's come up with um, things for eating disorders underneath. So like, now he's just a skinny little rat. Thing is, I've always been this weight. If and I, I went to like normal healthy weight, that'd be dangerous to my body because that's not my natural weight. Yeah. yeah I, I eat loads as well. I eat loads, lo like a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you've just got on... an insane metabolism. Well, isn't yeah. It? The more I eat, the more I shit. Yeah. It's that simple. <laughs> Seriously, that's it. Like, don't put a, don't just put a IBS, on, essentially, that's I'm been just keeping super him efficient. thin. I'm like your Volvo. Yeah. <laughs> Less embarrassing to be in. You just, you're just a yeah. tube. Full of dead kids. Yeah. <laughs> your digestion yeah. system is just one tube. Yep. Yeah. Just okay, a word. I wish like a water slide. Yeah. Right, well, make a note. We need to do Freddy's when he's here. Okay. Yeah. Morbidly should we, should we estimate? Yeah, yeah, let's estimate Freddy's. Yeah. Let's do an estimate. Okay. So Freddy's what, about 5'10"? Yeah, let's do 5'10". It's about, yeah. Yeah. Are we and 100 so, stone? No, no, come on. Don't, right, let's be serious. Well, I think he has said before. I think he's 18. No, no, no. Be serious. I think he's 28. 28 yeah. stone at least. He's, 28, he's 28, stone. 28 stone. He's got to be 28 stone, hasn't he? Hasn't Depends he if he's winter or not. How, can you Google how much an orca weighs? <laughs> 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 no, he's uh, no. I think he is about... World's fattest man weight. Yeah, does he cool. not fatten up for winter before he goes to hibernation? He does, yeah. Approximately 1,400 pounds. Oh, great. What's Back that on the chart. Um... <laughs> Uh, I, no, I think, I think he he's about mention... 20. He's about 20. He's not 20. I think he's eight. I think he mentioned 18. Actually, uh, we... Yeah, but he's a liar, so we'll we... go 19. I think we okay, worked it out once. Because yeah. we... what? We're in, the, in our green room at the it's club, we always weigh well. people on uh, how many Ryans you weigh. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he was four Ryans. Yeah, so what's that? Uh, three no, four three Ryans. Ryans, so that's 21. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's 20. Okay. Personally. That was a while ago. Yeah, we'll go 20. Oh, God. He's not 20. He's tw stone. easily 20 stone. Easily. I wonder what it'll say. What's he going to say? <laughs> Oh, oh it's literally the opposite. I could have told him that. <laughs> He's got a BMI of 97. <laughs> He's going to keep it off 5%. He hasn't because we've just made up the numbers. It also says 40 on the screen, Tom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's another reason why it's not true. <laughs> It's good. It's good, good content. That. Good bit. Good yeah. bit. Uh, there we go. There's the oh, guess our weight fact. section. Dead Men Talking invites you to join the world's largest social network for adults, Adult Friend Finder. As a leading adult-oriented social networking platform, our aim is to connect like-minded individuals and create a safe and inclusive environment for exploring all kinds of adult relationships. For over 25 years, Adult Friend Finder has been the original and number one casual dating site on the market. With 120 million members worldwide, you are sure to find hundreds of sexy local matches for any relationship experience you are seeking. Find sex, hookups and chat live at dmt.adultfriendfinder.com. If you're enjoying Dead Men Talking, why not sign up to Patreon? It's patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod, and for that, you get an extra episode every single week. But, Freddie, I can't afford three pounds because I'm an internally impoverished little spastic. Well, there's a free trial for internally impoverished little spastics. That's good. So, for seven days, you don't get to pay anything. You can just oh. come in, have a look round, see if it's for you, and then fuck off. What happens after that seven days? Do I definitely remember to unsubscribe and yeah, not pay any money? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. Patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod. You'll remember. We hope you're enjoying this week's episode of Dead Men Talking, and... I don't care if you are. Here is a little sneak peek of some content from a previous Patreon-only episode. If you enjoy it, sign up at patreon.com forward slash deadmentalkpod. If you had to do a, a one-time terrorist attack... Yeah. You have a budget of... Yeah, <laughs> budget. I like this. A hundred like, pounds. hundred quid. Oh, okay. Yeah, a yeah. hundred pound budget. So that's enough for, like, fertiliser, isn't it? Like... Yeah. Uh, I don't yeah. know how to make a fertiliser I don't know what bomb, drawing though. shit's going to No, I just mean, like, <laughs> throw shit at them. I think... Right. I think... I think You've got to kill as many people as you can. Uh-huh. Assuming that you're going to be a fatality. Right. What are we saying? How... Post office. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Post office. I've been there for ages. <laughs> Do you know, uh, my parents work in the post office and my first job was in a post office yeah. and it was to shred Christmas letters that p children <gasps> sent in. Oh God, oh, that's, that's why you're like this. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, that would give me <laughs> such an erection. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was checking other kids. I was like yeah. 15. I was checking other kids' is like fucking yeah. thing to see if I knew any of them. And be like, did funny. you get your little fucking robot? They should do, <laughs> <laughs> they should do that as a punishment for bad kids. <laughs> make them yeah. see how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking yeah. shredding dreams. Yeah. <laughs> so depressed. So a hundred quid. hundred quid, right. At that point, right, you're, at, you, you're either stabbing or you're like hiring a car. I think hiring a car is your best way to go. Get a van. I think you can make a bomb for a hundred quid. I, can you make a bomb for a yes. hundred quid? Can you make a bomb? Yes. Can you? How? You can make Fertilizer. A, you can yeah. make a petrol bomb. 
Yep, yeah, petrol bomb. Yep, there right, you go. That, that Put a fork in the microwave. most Irish thing you've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> we can make a petrol bomb quite easy. Use yeah. sugar, that's how it sticks to you. All right, great. Yeah. There nice you one. go. Yeah, yeah. so we can make a napalm. Yep, uh, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. All right, yeah. And Molotovs are a good way to go, to be fair. You can make them pretty right, easy. Right, no, what I'm going to do is um, napalm, but uh, super soaker. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to... How are you going to light it? I'm gonna... You're going to make a homemade flamethrower is your move. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Right. You, you would be the only fatality. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> yeah, but it'll go off like... You know when they blow up a whale on the beach? <laughs> 17 injured in the blubber shrapnel. It's like a baby drowns in his hot fat. <laughs> Is someone cooking chips? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What about, like, yeah. acid? Well, you can, like, disfigure people with acid, but, like, you know, they don't die. Like, Katie Piper's oh, still around. It's a terrorist attack, What well, do you think, it? like, LSD? <laughs> yeah. Like, you just make everyone angry. freak out, man. <laughs> spike the punch at some party. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like, whoa. Everybody go mental. Yeah. It's not Guys, really I think I can fly. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, I think so. fire is quite hard to actually kill people with. It's a really good way to like hurt a lot of people, but killing with fire is hard. Okay. You've got to keep people on fire for a while to get them dead. <laughs> 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 what, what have I said that's wrong? <laughs> it's, no, it's right, yeah. <laughs> it's dark. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? That when is, the screams start softening. That's an X-Men <laughs> spin-off that I want to see. Yeah. Like the guy that's got flames as his power, yeah. just toasting some of the fucking <laughs> ages. <laughs> He's not dead. It yeah. takes a while. <laughs> it's the bad guy's going, ah, 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 ah. Stand, don't move. The <laughs> yeah. Chinese burned to death. She's <laughs> 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 taking forever. <laughs> Uh, Get the other arm, this isn't yeah. working. No, I, re- I reckon, right, here's a good way to do it. <laughs> you, you, uh, you go to one of those villages that has like a school with one of those, like, thanks for driving slowly things. It goes, you've driven 25, sad face. Yeah, and you yeah. just drive dead fast at 3 okay. p.m. There you oh, go. Just there you mow go. children just down. Just mow yeah. children down. People yeah. are going to be dead upset about that. Yeah. 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 And if you uh, ter- do a terrorist I attack in a that. small you town, said, you get a good tennis you player. Said, you said... <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> That's why we went last time. It went really well. Yeah, but you have to do a proper terrorist attack. Yeah, you got to shoot up a school, yeah. No, right, 100 quid, get a flight, mm. and then cause a whole scene. I, I reckon I could bring a plane down somehow. <laughs> how? All right, go. Just causing a lot of hassle. Just <laughs> Let me in there. Just Just stop pressing out. your button. <laughs> bing, bing. You're going to get through a cabin door in a Ryanair fucking flight. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's no, there's just a curtain, yeah. like a beaded curtain. That'd be great. Everyone like dive fucking... shoulder wise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go clean through it and just knock the fucking pilot clean out by yeah. accident. You go into the cockpit on a Ryanair flight, they've got like wooden beads on the seat. <laughs> got a tissue box on the dash. <laughs> fucking dice. Yeah, a little hula girl. The dude's cooking the food as well. <laughs> just over an open flame. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of fat, I went to Benidorm. Yeah. There's a lot of fat people there. Uh, I saw, <laughs> I, well, now Freddie's not here, someone's got to do a shit segue. Yeah. yeah. I saw um, a Michael Jackson tribute. It was just in a pub, and this yeah. Michael Jackson tribute guy came on, and he was fat as fuck. That's great. Right. What I, colour was he? Well, yeah, which got... era was he? What album were we yeah. talking? Are we talking like Rockin' Robin or Bad? <laughs> <I've, laughs> like... Was it when he was black or when he was a nonce? I've, I've got a picture of him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Go. I did have it open there. I didn't close the thing. Yeah. Fat Michael Jackson. You can't really tell how fat he is, but he basically, he that looks like this. That is contouring to fuck, that yeah. is. Yeah. He looks like this, right? Yeah. He came on. He looks like uh, Crichton from Red Dwarf. Yeah. yeah. Do you know, actually, do you know who he does look like? You know, the, you know the person that we usually say does look like that, looks like that? Mm. Well, not anymore, obviously, but looks like that. <laughs> nope. Nope. Bad. <laughs> what he's done is bad. I can't explain it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I did think it, didn't want to say it. <laughs> okay, did this... Said it. <laughs> this is true. Shut up. <laughs> so, fat Michael Jackson. So, you can't see the fat in the picture. Fat Michael Jackson. Really, you can't really see how fat he is in the picture. I'll be honest, this is very unimpressive as a bit. You have got. You can't believe how fat this Michael Jackson is and you show me it's not there. fat. Yeah, you, you are way fatter than them. Well, no, he is not, overweight. He, he is officially <laughs> medically overweight. That's not the bit. I'm going to have to change look, my intro with two fat cunts. What's the guy called who used to be the judge on that dancing programme? The taller one? RuPaul? No, the, no, not like not the drag race one. The, um, Len Goodman? St- strictly, no, strictly the other one. The, uh, the Bruce Forsyth. The Italian guy? No, Bruno. he's a short Amanda one. Holden? Might be tall for you. The, 
What's his buddy? The tall, no, the tall one out of all the tall one that's not the old man. Bruce Forsyth. No, he wasn't a judge. <laughs> the tall one that's not an old man. Yeah. Vernon K. I see he's dead, isn't he? <laughs> Bruno Tonioli. No, he's he's aight. Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, I'm, him anyway looks like him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. I'm going to find out who he is. Where's my phone? I don't know. Yeah, go on your phone for a bit. That'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking hell, he's like having Freddy here. <laughs> So Michael Jackson came in this pub and I was yeah. like, ah, I'm not really into this. But Michael Jackson, normally, you know, you can have some good Michael Jackson yeah. impersonators. Doesn't matter if you're fat or white. <laughs> <laughs> he came on, yeah. didn't do any singing at all as a Michael Jackson impersonator. Right. Just mimed. Just touched a kid. Mimed. mimed. Mimed, right? It looks yeah. like that. Just mimed. Fucking hell. Did yeah. some of the dances, right, yeah. but really slow, like super slow. But yeah. he had a big screen the behind him. The moonwalk's not meant to be fast, mate. But, but all the other dances, like the thriller dance and stuff, it was just too slow. But behind him <laughs> was a video of... Craig Revel Hallwood. There we go. There we go. Uh, like Carl Porter doing the fucking thriller dance. Yeah. Shout out, Carl Porter. Well done, by the yeah. way, on that. Well fucking done. Fucking unbelievable. That's good. Yeah, if you've been on Twitter or anything in the last few weeks, you've seen Carl yeah. Porter's video. Anyway. If you've been near a phone, you've yeah. seen it. Yeah, so Michael Jackson, he was, and then he was, but he was doing his shit dancing. But behind him was a, the video of the real dance, yeah. so you could see how out of sync he yeah, was. Yeah, that is a bad, that is a bad move. What At least slow name? down the video. Yeah, Michael Fatson. Because that's it. They always have like really shit puns yeah. as well. No, I'm he's fat. Jackson. I'm fat. You know it. I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> was it just like his name as Michael Jackson? Yeah, he was just saying Michael Jackson is going to be on tonight. He did not say Michael Jackson seriously. He did, seriously. Yeah, I don't that. think anyone thought he was going to be the no, real Michael Jackson. Like, usually, they're not. They're not that. Ridiculous! They just go Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Fuck we just have like hell. Michael Jackson tribute, however. Veg yeah. for tea is not my dinner. <laughs> you do look. I'll be honest with you. You both look very happy to be with him there. Yeah, yeah we've done a lot of MDMA to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought that jaw was in a weird angle. Did you just take that picture to make sure that it was actually happening? Yeah, well, that uh, this was the night after, so we'd see Michael Jackson and we were laughing about how fat he was, and then I saw him the next day. I was like, let's get a picture of Michael Jackson. How do you know it's the you same should person? have got a picture of him being fat. <laughs> yeah. <You> should... <laughs> Could be a string of these fat cunts. Yeah. You should have got a picture of him where he looked fat. Yeah. You've really fucked this up. I have. I've just got to take your word for this photo of a guy who doesn't look fat, he's fat. Basically, yeah. it looks like... The, I have got first... someone somewhere, but I've not put it on the drive. Like the first ever CGI work, of Michael Jackson, yeah. Good work. isn't it? Put You've absolutely picture. smashed it. Once again, yeah. yet another glorious week for Tom. <laughs> I'm very hungover. <laughs> you, you're fucking hungover every week. I know, that's why I'm so shit. I mean, the fact that you're hungover today has no bearings on that photograph. Yeah, all right, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, uh, I've sent some stuff in as well. Oh, good. What, what have you got? What have we got? I don't know, like, have a look at the uh, emails. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay, I do a rumour. Oh, all right, okay, come on, like, yeah, let's, let's have the rumour. Brian Giggs, Shag Jason Orange. <laughs> 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 so Ryan Giggs was the top in that situation. Right. I would assume that Jason Orange would be the top. He's the larger guy. No, he's a dancer. He is a dancer, but uh, Ryan Giggs got hair to hold on to I on his like, arm. Yeah, I feel like shagger, Ryan, Giggs, Ryan Giggs would mm. be more of a selfish lover, I think. He's a shagger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think he's finishing... Of course he's a selfish off. lover. He fucked his brother's missus. Mm. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Was his brother also shagging Jason Orange first? <laughs> he shagged Howard. Yeah. <laughs> just I'll thought show it was you. Jason, just didn't I'm going to get a slightly better take that member. Uh, but yeah, I have it on very good authority. This is true. Very good authority from who? From a man in Betty Dorm who was very drunk. Was it Michael right. Jackson? But the man said, right, that yeah. his sister uh -huh. used to work at BBC. And oh, right. And well. everyone there knew, but was keeping it hushed. Right. So what more details do you have about this incident? Uh, his mate also confirmed that it was true. Who was there? Right. His, so his mate backed backed him up. Backed him up in the public. Like they were both, Shag Jason they both claimed it was true. Yeah. And then obviously the sister thing. And the, it just feels only, right. So all of the evidence that you've got supporting this came from one man. One drunk man well, and his mate. No, two drunk two men. Drunk Come men. on, give him his credit. No. Two drunk men. Two drunk yeah, men. the other drunk man that was stood next to the man that's just said it, that's yeah. only mates with one of the people in this yeah. entire conversation. Yes. So one man. Yeah. Yes. But, what a laugh. But. And a sister that doesn't exist. Yeah. Well, we don't know she exists. That's she un doesn't. Unconfirmed. He doesn't got a sister. But. It does seem true. And in what, I would In what way? Because they were both famous in the 90s. That right. must be right. They've there. probably been in the same place. A lot of times. I bet they've met. I bet they've met. I definitely. bet they've met. They're, yeah, they're, right. So they've got opportunity. Opportunity. Motive is the bit where I'm yeah. falling down. Well, shagging. Who doesn't sure. like shagging? Yeah. And it, the celebrities. Some people don't like shagging fellas. Yeah, all yeah. fellas from Take That. Yeah. Maybe. He might have been an E17 fan. I think. He's Welsh, isn't he, right? Mm. In gigs, so it. it I don't like think there are any Welsh boy bands, were whatever there? Whatever I did, I didn't mean it. 
I just want your crack for good. <laughs> come on. Come I've, on. I've got a fist Par- of pure emotion. <laughs> Love it. That's beautiful. Parody songs are this easy. Yeah. Grow up parody yeah. music acts. Learn comedy. <laughs> I think I would like for as many as many people as possible to ask Ryan Giggs or Jason Orange yeah. whether they've banged and then we can get All them right. to like, I wonder what honest, the answer's going to be. If I ever meet Ryan Giggs, it's going to be about fifth on the list of things I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe first for me because I couldn't give a shit about football. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to punch nonsense. him in the face. Yeah. Because when yeah, I was a like, kid... He normally batters women, so, you know, yeah. like shagging a lad, good. When I was a know? kid, yeah. nobody was called Ryan. Nobody even heard the name Ryan yeah. whatsoever. Then he... No one had heard of it. You were the first one. No, like, hardly any... It was always yeah. Brian or Graham. That's the two names I always got. There was hardly any Ryans whatsoever. <laughs> Ryan? Ryan. Hardly Graham. any Ryans when you was a kid? Yeah. There's loads of Ryans. Yeah, there can we now. corroborate I'm this? I'm not a kid now, right, Can we Google how many Ryans were there 42 <laughs> years ago? Yeah. I want. I want to know about this. I want to see if there was a the surge name Ryan, in Ryan. Didn't become can we, popular. Can we Google until... popularity of yep. the name Ryan? Ryan wasn't popular until Ryan Giggs got, was popular in nineteen like nineteen ninety. I'm sure he uh, definitely uh, you know uh, will have uh, had a spurt for the nineteen ninety one. I think it was an Irish surname. Popularity. Peak. Here we go. Right, roll it's down. It's an Irish surname. Uh, scr- hit that button. Yeah, yeah. Hit that. Doing Ryan it. named popularity over time. Popularity over time. There we go. That's what we want. Uh, oh, here we go. There's a graph. Well, there's oh, graph. there's literally Another a graph. graph. Oh, my God. I'm exactly right. When did, Almost when, like I've had this name when, all my when, life. When, when were you born? 81. 81. Peak it's already Ryan. peaking. It's, peak. it's already peaking. Look at that line from 1968. Yeah. What happened in 1968? Ryan in O'Neill. Ni- Ryan O'Neill. Who's Ryan O'Neill? An actor that was famous then. Ah, oh, there we go. So is Ryan O'Neill not Giggs? I if, think if I had to mention when Ryan Giggs became famous, it, it went What's down. Declining what when country, Ryan. What country is that? Because that says centre. Oh, oh, US, US population. Oh, he's found a loophole. It's a US population. He is right. Can, well, we, Google, to... can we Google UK? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he'd found too good a result. <laughs> I thought it was too yeah. accurate. Oh, I'm sorry. That didn't... Yeah. That's the same website. <laughs> to talk then. Uh, UK baby name. There we there go. go. Here we go. Here we go. Historical popularity. There we go. Verstanden. Verstanden. Why is this such a foreign name? Here we go. Changing rank. Oh, fucking hell, Fuck Tom. Off. What are you doing? There we go. Right. I'm sorry. There's a pop-up. I can't uh, control pop-ups. Scroll up. Historical popularity. Here we go. Here we are. 1974. So we're, yeah. Oh, they're on top of each other there. Yeah, 74, 84. Oh, no. uh, there's a gap in the data there. What's the yeah. point before it? 84, it was 28th. And then it did go up in 94, which was peak Ryan Giggs, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, Wasn't that exactly true. as I just described it? Mm, yeah. I'd say it's close. I it's still want to disagree, though. Pretty much exactly as I don't I know described how to, it. but I want, yeah. I want to. A lot of people naming the kids after Ryan Giggs. That's weird. I mean, yeah. it's weird. He was Got super popular, that. wasn't he, in the 90s? Yeah. He yeah. was quite popular, yeah. That'll never happen he to me. Like with... He was like, he was the big one round before David Beckham was. Mm, That's. Yeah. It was so popular, he managed to uh, charm Jason Orange into having sex with him. How do you reckon it happened? Like, yeah. I reckon. What, what, what's the story in your head? They were both on the one show. <laughs> I reckon pre they... one show. This surely, surely they're not shagging at forty year old men. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon it was. It was like recent. <laughs> That'd be weirder if it was like within the last couple of years. No, because they go on the one show, they get interviewed. Then Adrian cause... Charles will make you horny. Yeah, whenever you get on there, you get horny as fuck. Yeah, whenever you see Adrian yeah, Charles, I could not watch the Money Program without getting an hard on. <laughs> I reckon they went to some showbiz after party yeah. in the 90s. A lot of Maybe, cocaine flying around, didn't it? I reckon 95. Yeah. Take that still going. I want to think 2020. Right. So are we saying that they 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 had sex at a cocaine fueled celebrity party, which means we then know that neither of them came. Yeah. <laughs> we know that they fucked joylessly for ages and were frustrated. Dead they eyes. Jizz. I yeah. think it was mid-season, so gigs isn't doing the... Co- He's doing a bit of drinking. No, 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 no. There's no way you end up going gay at a party if you've not had coke. This Coke is how all sexual deviancy starts. There has never been a threesome that began without cocaine, yes, right? Yes, there has. Right. No, I reckon they're at the Hacienda. There's lots of Not with adults. Rohypnol. <laughs> That's what helps. There are no consensual... <laughs> Threesomes that haven't started without cocaine. You could have an orgy with Rohypnol. You could, yeah. I reckon that has You've got to do a lot of work, though. Yeah, but they don't fight back. <laughs> and they're warm. <laughs> and relaxed. You, they were at the Hacienda. No, Hacienda. Right. Peak right. 90s. Don't mind if you come in the, the face tits. either. Peeled off the tits, right? They go back to Danny so now Bear's house. now it's at the Hacienda. Yeah. Put it. Now it's at the Hacienda. It's at the Hacienda. They were at the Hacienda, but then they go to an after party. At Danny Bear's house. Danny Bear's house. Right. Where right. Ryan has gone out. But they don't shag Danny Bear. No, Danny Bear's gone to bed. Was Danny Baker there as well? Was uh, he there? No, he'd been there earlier in the night. There. Yeah. He was, no, he didn't exist. <laughs> was George then. Foreman there with his grills? <laughs> <laughs> was it wasn't even invented then, Rob. 
yeah, he was still a boxer in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, he was retired, so long retired. After party, Danny he Bear's still got... cooked, though. Yeah. yeah, but not with his uh, lean, mean grilling machine. I bet yeah. he did. He just didn't tell anyone else about it. Yeah, he only had one. There was only one in existence. That was where it started. That's yeah. where it was. Because uh, Deborah Meaden was there as well, mm. and she was the one that funded it. She yeah. was being fingered by Howard uh, at the time. This is how Ryan Gish got those grill marks on his knob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Everyone thought it was just GHD yeah. straighteners that were also famous in the 90s. So Danny Bear's asleep. Danny Bear's asleep. Good hard dick. That's Everyone's like, oh, we were up in Shag, Danny Bear. Jason. But obviously, I'm Ryan Giggs and I respect women's autonomy. Yeah. <laughs> no, Jason and Ryan. Everybody else had Shag, Danny Bear. Jason and Ryan, they're just having a chat. And then one thing leads to another. Little sly one thing, finger. One thing leads to another. He's doing a lot of heavy lifting <laughs> like, right now. Like sly finger touch from Jason onto Ryan. Ryan's like, what well, goes? Diddle, diddle, diddle. Just like, just hold his diddle, hand. Diddle, diddle. Just How did that Just comforted him because he'd had a lot of injuries at that point. Ryan, he's worried right. about his hamstrings. And Jason was like, "Would you like to massage your hamstrings? I've got a good technique." And Ryan was like, "Oh yeah, okay." And so he starts. Oh, massaging. No, very hairy, ended Ryan. up inside you. Gives him massaging his hamstrings. He's like, oh, "You think... know what? That does feel a lot better." And he goes, and then he's he just gets a, a little, thought into little that, bit too close, a little bit close to the bum. And Ryan's like, "You know what? I don't mind it." And then Jason's like, straight in with a thumb. Then next thing you know, banging. Tom, <laughs> can you open up your browser history? So, yeah. So on t- your phone? So in that scenario, Jason is the top because he's fingering Ryan's bomb. I think if you're going to go no, get... That's how I top. imagine it. I'm not saying that's definitely how right. I'm going to. That's how I That's think. how you think about it at night it's to get to sleep. Probably I think I know what happened, right? Uh. I know what happened. If it's true, it happened exactly like this, right? <laughs> yeah. There used to be a programme with Dave Benson Phillips, right, called Get Your, get own, your back, own Back. I'm aware of it, yeah, yeah, big yeah. fan. Yep, and uh, the, at the end of it... So it was Jason the... Orange Ryan's teacher. <laughs> no, 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 what happened was, right... I'll gun you. They were just there as celebrities on it, right, yeah. and they, they had the guns, and yeah. Dave Benson Phillips was like, right, we've had the show. The oh, gunge, I'm so sick of These teachers are all covered in gunge, right, yeah. and Ryan couldn't control himself because there's nothing he loves more than a geography teacher covered in gunge. Sure. Right? Really, he... Well, apart from a crying yeah. woman. So Dave Benson Phillips was like, right, all right, Ryan. I can see you've got quite an impressive erection there. Would you like to? <laughs> would you like to pop in here, right? And we can sort that out for you. Yeah. And as it happens, Jason was in the back with the worst shits ever, right? And right. Dave Benson Phillips had said, "I can sort these shits out for you." So what's happened then is he's got Ryan to fuck Jason in the arse while he's Let's filmed play it. Gets your mates back. Yeah, he's filmed it, right? He's filmed it so that he can then go to the BBC and yeah. try and get this commissioned as a program. Right. Which, Watch Jason and Ryan shagging. No. Whilst no. he has violent diarrhea. Rape in the attic, it's called. Right. With Dave Benson Phillips, right? No guns this time because uh-huh. we're moving out of the 90s. Right. Uh, they tried it with Ryan and Jason. Yeah. Uh, they also tried it with um, Howard and yeah. Thora Heard, but that didn't work. Right. Yeah. And then uh, that's how Jedward got their start. Wasn't that's it? how Jedward exist. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they were, were actually, born out of the game. No, Jedward, <laughs> Jedward were actually, because it was a warm a warm attic, right? Yeah. What it was, Jedward were just the jizz bib on the floor yeah. that then just evolved. Like, you know, yeah. like um, the turtles? Yeah. How they just evolved. Sort of grew out of yeah, that. Yeah, they were, they were a jizz bib that just, because like, it was a two-ply tissue, obviously. I now believe it. That's why they're um, I, I would say, if it. you're going to go gay, Ryan Giggs is a f- weird first choice. Well, it might not be his first choice. Sure, but like, I've never heard any other stories about uh, him being gay. So, and I've seen, you know, with women. So I assume that you know, bisexual, but not, you know, leaning towards women. It seems like his preference, if this is true. Yeah. I would say you've got to be really gay to be into Ryan Giggs. He's a very hairy little Welsh he's goblin. He's hairy man. He was a heartthrob in the nineties. But I'm saying it, it's it's curly hair. He's so hairy. Yeah, it's yeah. a big leap in. Some people into bears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying like, if you're into women and bears, that's a weird mix, isn't it? Those are two Two very opposite things. Yeah. Not like, if you know some of the women I do. <laughs> but Jason Orange was in take that. He's getting women thrown and he was him all over the place. Bored of it. Bored of it. Bored of pussy. It lo- he's had so Famously many boring, he's, isn't it? He's had so yeah. much. He's it's, like, you know oh, what? Oh, no. Hot strangers keep trying to fuck me. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe go, you know go what? Go away with your boobs and, and yeah. vaginas without teeth. Why, why not try <laughs> making love to the Welsh wizard himself? I don't think they made uh-huh, love. Right. I think they yeah. fucked. Yeah. I think he was very. I, think, I don't think Ryan Giggs tenderly fucks. I think he's an yeah. incredibly selfish lover. Started off with a strangle wank. Yeah. No. I he strangled he... Jason while he wanked. Yeah. That's what it was. Do you reckon uh, Ryan wrote some of his famous poetry for Jason? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Giggs wrote some poetry to his uh, yeah, missus that was in the trial. It was so fucking bad. Yeah. Like maybe that's what some of uh, Take That's lyrics are. It would explain it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So there we go. That's definitely true. Yeah. Says Tom. Please, uh, everyone, do your utmost to. 
confirm the rumours, basically. So you basically just try to spread rumours on the podcast now? We'd spread truths, mate. Right, spread truths. Yeah, yeah. Truths. Look, well, the mainstream media are trying, to, are trying to stop this from getting out. So right. this is a but I'm like... Oh, the woke karate won't hear of it, mate. The MSM. The wokes the are shutting you down, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who yeah. Was he shut down by the wokes. Was he, did he used to be a producer at the BBC? Uh, no, it was his sister who worked at the BBC. I don't know what her job was. Yeah. Right. But they all know, apparently. He's wanking off right the there. presenters into a bucket to keep a wife I want to know how this conversation started, though. Like, no, yeah. strangers don't come to go, hey, hey guess what? Honestly, hello, do you Hawkins. know anyone who's had sex with Ryan Giggs? <laughs> honestly, this is how the conversation went. Hands up we if were, you've got a secret. We were, we were just talking about football, and then one of them just shouted out of nowhere, you know, Ryan Giggs had Jason Orange. And I <laughs> found that so funny that I'm like, I move you. I'm spreading that as well, mate. And that's how, we, that's how we're here. Because right. you, you actually... you're like, I've got a platform to spread <laughs> yes, this. Yes. Do you know the weird thing I was, I promised though? him I would do it, and he's going to listen to this. <laughs> I saw him post this. <laughs> Don't know his name. Never uh, seen him again. That's never going to see I him I saw again. you write it on a Discord. And I was like... I did. Right and I was like, I've tweeted it. Because I've only just joined it. And I was like... For fuck's sake. Have I missed a joke somewhere here? Is this an yeah. in-joke I've missed? Uh, uh, nope. Just a fact. Tom if you're not scary. on our Discord uh, server, by the way, there'll be a link below. It is one of the most top toxic bits of the internet if you want to dive in uh, it's fucking horrific it's healthily toxic I don't know about healthy it's no, no. fuck it's like it, it feels like and I don't go in it very often I think it's weird to be in a community that's sort of based around like a podcast you're, you know what I mean yeah, it just feels yeah, a bit yeah. like weird it's, their yeah, yeah. Th it's the fans thing it's not mine yeah. but I go I, when I do pop in it feels like lifting up a rock and you know there's loads of wood lice yeah. underneath <laughs> it it feels like that. that's the same feeling I, I get I did have to have a shower after I went on it's fucking madness I love it I love that it exists I think it's fucking cool like loads of the shit but it's uh, it's very funny on that there's some very, very, very funny, funny people this yeah. is there's some very not funny people I like love the fan art like the fan, the fan art, art we get thing. through it is fucking class they do stuff like games nights and that thing's sick like loads of them hang yeah. out and just make awful jokes at each other while playing games oh fucking yeah class. they do they have some calls sometimes where it gets really bad on there like the stuff that they're too scared to write down and they write down a lot of bad shit yeah <laughs> they're, they're scared to write it down on our secret server <laughs> so yeah like uh, if you're a lonely weirdo why not join our discord server and make some fucked up friends some people become like really good mates honestly yeah, there is a, a pro community. it's a proper community that's what I love about it it's like all these freaks finding each other and I think that's a beautiful thing that we've done out yeah. of this disgusting and, and mess and got a man out of prison that he got himself out of anyway and then everybody complained because now we've got nothing to fight for so we went back into prison selfishly why don't you commit a violent for. crime so we can <laughs> we can campaign to get you out? I really shouldn't say this. We've definitely got schizophrenic fans who think I'm talking directly to them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 100% we've got some of them. I'm like, yes, Rob, I'll go stab someone for the podcast. <laughs> Please, uh, for legal reasons, don't do that. If you are going to commit it. a crime, make sure it's to confirm or deny the rumours about Ryan Giggs and Jason Orange. Yeah, break into uh -huh. the BBC. That crime is fine. If you could steal us a video of that, fair fucks, <laughs> you know. I just, want, I just want one of them to deny it that's, that's yeah. all I'll, I'll confirm it that'd yeah. be amazing I mean like you know it's not. It's hardly like the David Bowie Mick Jagger and sort of like that room it's like that I totally believe they were all fucking yeah, wild they were all fucking each other about that. Yeah. why not Giggs and Jason I feel like it could have happened yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I if Ryan Giggs was bisexual he would have fucked loads of fellas and maybe it would have been a thing you would have heard like that to get out there's no way you can keep the gays quiet come on was Jason those guys wrong with the box? yeah is he the one that's not in it anymore or the I one that is in it. Anyone. Robbie Williams isn't in it. Yeah, there's another one's gone as oh, well. I don't I think know. There's only that, that yeah. little one in the hat. He's mm. still in it. Mark Owen. Yeah. yeah. The one who writes... Four minute warning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then there's that... Uh, there's the one who plays the piano. Gary Barlow. And then there's the one of the other two. You know the other two that were like the two that just stood next to the well, piano in the 17 There's Jason Orange and Howard... No, I want to say Howard <laughs> Webb. <laughs> Howard the Duck. Yeah. Walker. Howard. No, it's not Walker, is it? What? Brown. Howard... Howard. Marx, no. no. Howard the Duck. Howard, Howard Donald. Donald. Right, Howard Donald. Yeah. So is this the one that if Jason Orange, you fucked Ryan Giggs? Yeah, Jason Orange, he wasn't. Oh, right, right. Howard would never do that. <laughs> oh, actually, now I remember what he looks like. I, yeah. I could actually, I'd, I'd do him though. Oh, he's a good looking man. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Well, but you'd but... want to see his face. He was in a boy band, you know, they're all relatively handsome. I reckon Jason Orange and Ryan Giggs. relatively Gage. handsome? Yeah. Not all boy bands. Uh, I think most of them. I mean, nah. most of them, that's kind of one of the defining features. Yeah. It is, except for one, and I'll show you Blue. after. No, I can't remember the name of them. <laughs> Sorry, Anthony Costa. Didn't mean to slam you like that. Yeah, uh, I think most of them are good looking, though. That's kind of the point. Yeah, it? yeah. You and know. I think Jason Orange and Ryan Giggs are similar levels of attractiveness. Uh -huh. You're so horny for nah, Ryan Giggs. Nah, Jason's a lot it's better looking It's so than Ryan obvious Giggs. through all of this how much you would let Ryan Giggs run you ragged. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Even, even though he's a very bad man. 
Yeah, he's a good footballer. They're the same height as well. Yeah. <laughs> he was a very good footballer, very bad man. Very bad manager. Very bad manager, <laughs> very bad man as well. Just bad man. Yeah, I know nothing of football. Yeah. He's just a bad, bad man. Bad man. You don't need to know anything about football. You know loads about domestic abuse. Oh, fuck yeah. 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 I'm in the Premier League of that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. All right. There we go. There we go. Lovely rumour. Do you have like a lovely question or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got a lovely yeah, yeah. question. Maybe, maybe maybe Tom's lovely room is going to replace Tom's <laughs> Tom's libelous room yeah, is Tom's lovely lawsuits. <laughs> oh, I've got a cancer I've got update. John to represent you in court. You've got a cancer update. Remember last time I was going to get checked for cancer? I don't remember. Because I is, pissed myself. This remember? is very funny. That, oh, yeah, you just pissed yourself randomly, I pissed didn't myself you? and I was like, oh, maybe I've got prostate cancer. Yeah. And I went and I got checked. Yeah. Finger up the ass. Yeah. Did not enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Everyone enjoys a finger up the I ass. Did, I yeah. did not enjoy it. I got, he was tensing. Yeah, you got to lead into boy it. I just, I just closed my eyes and they thought, tense. right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so then uh, I got a blood test yeah. and I got another test and I'm waiting for the results. <laughs> and that is my cancer. So, you, so your update is, we don't know. <laughs> We're still waiting. <laughs> Fucking, it'd be so funny don't if you have an ultrasound as well. If when you, you have bum cancer, age, I'm going to laugh loads. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. you get to a certain age, they send you through the post, don't they? Like, uh, yeah, you need fingering. You can, no, this, no, it's not even a reminder. Right? Yeah. They send you a thing so that you you basically wipe your shit on this card and post it to them and they t- t- tell you if you've got cancer or not. Fucking hell. Imagine being the postman delivering them every day to that yeah. one place. Poor bloke. Yeah. I, uh, I'm, that's got to be coming down the track for me. Luckily, I have a long history of getting my ass fingered, so I'll be, uh, I'll be, I'll be ready for it. I've only had slim lady fingers in there though, up to this point. Well, and a couple of fat birds. Uh, so I'm, I'm an, I'm, well, like, what's the biggest thing you've had up your ass? Is it just is it a, a finger? A shit? I've, well, yeah, but like you know, going the other way, um, I've only had fingers. Yeah, like, you know, I've not. The finger can do the job I need. You know, like I've never, I've never needed girth. It's more about prostate stimulation. Well, yeah, it's the, it's, you know? it's more dexterity. Exactly. Than, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do I love the question? Yeah. Oh, do you want a? I've got advice. Or do you want advice? Uh, whatever. I want you. both. Let's go for advice. Okay. Okay. Uh, welding weirdo v sister. I think what? I've googled that. <laughs> <laughs> I've not long started working with my brother-in-law as his apprentice welder. It's a bit slow at the minute as I'm still learning, but I know that this type of work will soon come good for me. However, him and my sister have recently filed for divorce, and she found him, quote, prancing around in her underwear when coming home from work early. Not sure whether to keep up with this line of work, as I know how beneficial it will be, or to support my sister and pack it in. Well, I think your sister is a king shamer for a start. Yep. Uh, I think, like, he's not harming anyone. He's just prancing around some underwear. Maybe he's just into that. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine, isn't I it? I think she's really overreacting. I think he's got to lean into his kink. Yeah. You know, like, you know, if he just, like, there are a lot worse things you could find your husband doing. Jason Orange. Exactly. <laughs> That'd be a lot more inconvenient. That's how it started. They were yeah. both welding. <laughs> Let's put these masks down and yeah. bum. <laughs> oh, no, they kept the masks on. Uh, yeah. No, the, yeah, they need it for the sparks. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, look, but, you know, you have a right to end the relationship for anything. You know, you, you can do it. It's your relationship. But I also think it's not your fucking business. That's not, like, I, it, I mean, either we're not hearing the full story yeah. or she's reading too much into what's going on. Just because a guy likes to wear women's clothes, like, yeah. it's not like it's, she's... She's come home and find him, found him wearing another woman's skin. Yeah, it's a lot better than that. That would be worse. You should, you be should split up with somebody, should by the way, split if, up if there, you find yeah. him wearing somebody it else's skin. It depends if it's all consensual. What, wearing somebody else's skin? Yeah, it could be. I don't think you can no, consent not to having your skin taken I off. I think if you're consenting to have your skin taken off, you may have some mental issues that would invalidate yeah. the consent. Because it's can impossible to say, yep, without lips. Could yeah. you uh, leave someone your skin in your uh, will? Sure, yeah. Um, I don't know how legal human leather is, but fuck it, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It well, has to be old there's people's books skin, and stuff though. made out of human leather. Yeah. Like, uh, not... Because the Nazis did some stuff like that with lampshades and stuff. And then ah, the more I hear stuff. about these guys, the less I like them. <laughs> <laughs> really good at organising. Sure. Um, um, yeah, I think, I think from the, the guy's point of view, it really depends, right, how harshly we judge the guy in the underwear, what he was He's done doing nothing wrong. For. Well, unless... There. Unless... Yeah. It was for a TikTok. In which case, he's an adult man doing a TikTok uh, dance yeah. and he's a paedophile, yeah. right, you know. But if he's just like a bit of a transvestite and likes wearing women's underwear, also it could just be a laugh. 
You know, we don't know the context. It could be like, hey, look yeah, at this. He might have just been... Tr- what, for the, that's the only time he's ever tried it out. Yeah, but even if it just makes him horny, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. There's way worse fucking fetishes. Well, no, maybe he's just shit like himself. He's got a boner. Yeah. He's just prancing. I mean, like, obviously, it's her underwear. She has a right to be annoyed that someone else is wearing her underwear. She has yeah. a right to be annoyed with him. But also, I just think there's a lot worse things at sea, you know? Statistically, he's likely to be bigger than her as well. So mm. he's going to stretch that underwear a little bit. And she's going to think that she has lost weight. So that's actually doing her mental health mm, good. Actually good for her mental health. Yeah. Uh, I think he should buy his own women's underwear to prance around in. Yeah. But also, like, it's not harming anyone, is it, really? So I think, like, in, when it comes to working for, with him, who gives a fuck? You've got a re- great new uh, thing to take the piss out of him for. He's never going to, like, fire you and give you shit. Because you can go one, two ways. You can either openly mock him for it. Yeah. You know, or you can just be like, look, I know this. Let's be chill. Blackmail. Blackmail. Also, they Every could do shopping together. Every advice they do always ends up with blackmail. <laughs> From now on, to save time. It's a great if, strategy. If yeah. you want advice, go for blackmail. Look, it's just, you've got a tap in here. Yeah. Like, that yeah. is going to be the best boss you've ever had. Yeah, yeah, if you can blackmail your boss, you're in, aren't you? And, like, it's such a gentle blackmail as well. Because, look, if the guy just went, like, it's one of those things, it's only embarrassing because he's embarrassed. Yep. If you just go, I Own like it. wearing women's Own underwear, yeah. no one gives a fuck. Everyone's like, cool. I'll like, tell you, yeah. But if you, go, if you hide it and you're ashamed of it, then it becomes a shameful secret. You've just got to own shit like this. Yeah. Be, yeah. Your, be your truth. That you know? exact same thing happened when I was at college. Mm. Uh, we were either 17 or 18, and um, we had a mate. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to name him because I don't want to embarrass him, but it's David Collingwood. Thank you, David Collingwood. Yeah, he lives in Birmingham now, but David Collingwood. What's his address? Uh, I don't know where it is. Somewhere in Birmingham. Uh, but David Collingwood. David Collingwood. It's Collingwood. In Birmingham. Now, yeah. he, um, he, I think we found out from his girlfriend that she put a finger up his bum. Yeah. And he really didn't want to like that anyone, anyone yeah you see know. how unshameful it was before when I told you about the litany of fingers well, that have been on yeah, my yeah, ass because yeah. I, I don't care I had it, it happen to me time. and I owned it and everybody's like yeah. alright okay uh, yeah. but, but, but David, as soon as you go was, oh no, 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 no. Yeah. that's when you make some yeah. of it yeah. exactly he was embarrassed of it so we um, we, oh, we annihilated him for it his 18th birthday was coming up right and he'd, his mum had get like, one of those big foam fingers no better than that went to watch the gladiators we got his mum who's afraid of the big bad wolf every single person that went bought him a box of chocolate fingers <laughs> and his mum went, oh, I didn't know I liked chocolate fingers so much. <laughs> That's very funny. That's David Collingwood. David now Collingwood. Lives in C-O-L-L-I-N-G-Wood. Yeah. Wood. <laughs> Wood, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's idea. fucking great. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, we're, like I, I think probably keep working for him. It's not like enough of a fucking betrayal that you got to be on your sister's side. Like if you've done something, if he'd done something really fucked up, like if he was knocking her about, don't work for that cunt. Oh yeah. yeah. But he's just like he's got a mild fetish. It's like on the scale of fetishes, that is a fucking one out of ten. You know, yeah. it's really nothing. Also, uh, for, she can't use it for blackmail anyway. Because where did you find this? Someone sent it. In. We, oh, people send us these problems. Yeah, because yeah. like like that. That's quite a specific scenario. Sister-in-law nah, like, learning to weld from a brother-in-law. No, nah, no. Nah, People like, are going to figure out pretty much who that mm, might be. No, nah, I think it's it's enough that it's just uh, the only identified things that like, because if people don't know, look, apart from this, it's just a welder and an apprentice. Could be anyone. Yeah. Could be sure. anyone. So I think blackmail is your best way. But yeah, I, I don't see any reason not to work for him. And I think uh, the guy in question, live your truth. Now that you've got the unsupported wife out of your way, uh, enjoy wearing women's underwear and have a lovely time. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. don't run in a thong. Great advice. You'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll, trap, you'll trap one. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. There's some advice. There's some advice done. Yeah. Oh, and like we'll assume uh, we need to fill in what uh, Freddie's role normally would be. So What's that? Uh, I don't care. This is your problem. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I'm fat. That'd be a bit too close to trans people for his liking. Yeah, anyway. this is it. He'd probably go, this is disgusting. Blah, blah, blah. Stop using toilets. Yeah, there we go. Uh, right, have we got a lovely question? Uh, we can have a lovely question if you want. Yeah. Tom's lovely question. Oh, isn't that lovely? Uh, if you had to write the message for each other on a board, like in Dyad 3, what would you write and where would you make them wear it? <laughs> have you seen Dyad 3? I am, I'm trying to remember the board. So the, like a sandwich board. A sandwich board. board and it says, oh, I hate yeah. N-words, yeah, yeah. and they drop him in the Bronx, I think yeah. it is. Like, yeah. Well, a very black area yeah, I remember of, it of New York, yeah. anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would write... Didn't he take his shoes off him as well? I think they did, yeah. Uh, that's a, a th- running theme in Die Hard that is shoeless. Yeah, I uh, is it? I would also... For the first three, is the Yeah, because he loses his shoes in the first film and steps on glass and then they just bring it back as a motif. Mm. Yeah. But uh, I would also take your shoes off you 
And I would just put Ryan outside of school with free hugs. <laughs> 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 she don't need to say anything bad with Ryan. The vibe is the bad bit. The, yeah. the, the fact that it's positive makes it scarier. <laughs> or just like free lifts and he's next to a van. I <laughs> just set up a kissogram. <laughs> <laughs> Like Uncle kiss Ryan's kissogram. <laughs> like an ice cream van. Yeah. It's just you stood next to a dirty mattress. <laughs> <laughs> With theme park written on it. Yeah. You must be shorter than this to write. Yeah. I'm just going to drop Tom outside a fat camp with his BMI written on his belly. <laughs> <laughs> Just on that side. Overweight, <laughs> officially, medically overweight, you fat little cunt. Look, he's not here. I've got to get it out on someone, you fat cunt. Yeah, but the difference is, is that cunt. in the next week, I will be so disheartened by this that I will go for a run every day, whereas Freddie would not, never do never that. Never do that. <laughs> See, I'd, I'd do something similar for Tom, but what yeah. I'd do is I'd put him outside Weight Watchers, right? Because yeah. he's not, to be fair, he's not that fat. He is still, fat, though. He's officially <laughs> fat. According to BMI, he is. He's definitely so what, fat. That's, that's medical. I think obese is fat. I think overweight is just like... Overweight yeah. is definitely fat. That's what, yeah, but what do you think overweight means? What I'm going to do though. It overweight, yeah. too fat. Obese is fat. You fat. Too much. Obese is really fat. <laughs> you have too much weight. Too much weight. You are overweight. Yeah. You are so fat. It's pure muscle. I'll put you outside. Um, pure muscle. Put you outside Weight Watchers with the sign on that yeah. just says, this is fat. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> with your phone number uh, underneath. Yeah. <laughs> we could use him like at a fun fair. It's like, you must be this fat to come in. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing as you're the first stop on overweight. He could be the bouncy castle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, very tiny bouncy castle. Yeah. yeah. Very, very tiny, bouncy, fat, fat little bouncy castle, you tubby little bitch. Ah, oh, I don't like this fat shaming. It's fun. I don't yeah. like fat shaming anymore. It's really fun. It's not as yeah. fun being on this side of it. Yeah. It's much better being the one. Yeah, skinny guys. Skinny guys, skinny guys oh, turn God, now. Yeah. Ask the UK's number one fat shaming comedian. <laughs> I fucking love it. Like, and uh, ask the world's thinnest comedian. <laughs> you might well be. I think you might be the world's thinnest I'm, man. Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm the, I'm the thinnest person alive. Yeah. Because yeah. every, everybody else that weighs this much is skeletons. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think Jimmy Savile was fucking a... <laughs> Do you reckon there's a skeleton that's heavier than you? Yeah, of course. There must be. Like an elephant Freddy's. skeleton. Freddy's. <laughs> like an elephant skeleton. When Freddy dies, his skeleton will weigh more than you. Because that's the thing, Freddy is big boned and fat. <laughs> I probably, I'm probably the only person that's lost weight since birth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Your placenta weighed more yeah. than you, didn't it? Yeah. Fucking yeah, hell. Turned down from a, uh, being an extra in an Auschwitz film. Yeah. Too <laughs> <laughs> These striped pyjamas are too baggy on you. <laughs> The thing is, I just missed out on Pirates of the Caribbean as well. I reckon I'd have got, I'd have got that nailed. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. Uh, oh, so what I've got to think. Come on, for you, and I. Um, oh, I know, I know what I'd do. I'd send you into an old folks' home with the sign, but I'd dress you up as a Grim Reaper. But you'd have your cock out as well. Yeah. I'd fill you full of Viagra, and again, it just have your next written on it. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking great. Yeah. A little scythe on the end of the tip. Yeah. <laughs> I like it a lot. I uh, I used to dress as a Grim Reaper for a show for uh, Panel Beaters. I must have told this story when uh, I was dressed as Panel Beaters. Uh, like, so I forgot show. all about that. So yeah, we did a, we did a panel show with Gary Delaney and uh, Queeve McDonald, right? And like uh, they wrote it, and I was the judge dressed as Death. Yeah. Right, every time we we filmed it for a pilot for like uh, a TV, and uh, it never went anywhere. The pilot was a disaster, right? So like the <laughs> venue was dog shit. It was at the Le Leicester Festival on a Sunday in the afternoon. And uh, we'd, we'd blown the budget. We got Jason Manford to host it, right? So it's like a big fucking gig. The panel's amazing. I can't fully remember who's on it, but it was just like killer, killer, yeah. killer, killer, killer. Like, but because Manford's hosting it and it's a comedy festival, Manford's fans turn up, uh, right? And like, we're dark they're not gonna as go for fuck, that. Yeah. right? I did a joke in my opening monologue about uh, how I hate killing Chinese people because I want to kill another one 40 minutes later, right? And they- <laughs> That's quite clever, that. Funny, I thought. Yeah. And they, not racist. Yeah. Not racist. Yeah. Uh, no, it's about the food. Uh, it's, it's just an MSG joke. But yeah. they just an no MSG is not a race. Yeah, they just no sold it. Like I got nothing. So it's fucking pulling teeth, right? We're halfway through this. We're getting through it. We're trying to do it. I just want to point out, I smashed Manfred's tour support, by the way. Nice. So, um, there you go. Well, yeah. you know, you weren't dressed as the Grim Reaper trying know, to do I jokes I was dressed as death. a nonce. <laughs> Not easier way. Uh, but yeah, so like, we're doing this. Uh, we, we, we do one of the games, right? And we're starting doing something. I'm stood on stage, full Grim Reaper costume yeah. with the scythe. Guy on the front row has a seizure, nearly dies, right? So, like, guy on the front row of the audience starts foaming Please at the mouth. Please tell me you slowly walk nearer Mate. <laughs> 
I'm stood at the end of the stage <laughs> looking over. <laughs> Six foot seven Fucking Grim brilliant. Reaper looking over as he falls in front of me ask my, at my feet and starts seizing up. And I, because this is such a mad situation, I just sort of freeze looking at this. And like, like people sort of rush over, things start happening, medics start coming. And I turned to Jason and I went, should I leave? And he went, Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, right. And like, I scuttled off Fuck stage. no, you should have stood there looking at Mate, your watch when he came round. I scuttled off stage, right? And like, I, I, we, we, uh, the footage is owned by a production company, but I think it's getting to the end of the contract soon so we can get the footage back because I really want to put this on YouTube. Yeah. It's like the photo of me, the video of me yeah. panicking as the Grim Reaper with someone <laughs> dying. I scuttle off backstage, we're still panicking. We're like, fucking hell. Turns out, right, eventually the guy's fine. The medics sort him out. They get him on an ambulance. He's all right. He's definitely going to be alive. Live. We go to restart the show. Yeah. And like, we're like, we're backstage. We're all like, what do you say? You know, we're all like, I have to fucking brainstorm a line. You've got to reference it. You can't read that room either. If you've got half Manfred fans and half your fans, you can't please everybody. You yeah, but like, the only way to go is to go in, in it. Like, you're doubling down double it you got to I come out like we start the show again and go ah talk about the one that got away and I, I like got a laugh because yeah. it had been so tense so we're like phew second half was a lot better pilot was still a bit shit never went anywhere but uh, yeah fucking hell that was rough That's rough situation. that fucking loved doing that show it was, was well it not, fun was it was the pilot for the BBC no it was it was because uh, we uh, uh, they love it when you kill people <laughs> yeah <laughs> they <laughs> Unfortunately, look, look, look at Noel Edmonds. Yeah, he's minted now. He did kill now. someone. Yeah, killed uh, a man by he jumped out of he jumped he jumped off a bungee jump thing. But they forgot thing, the right? bungee bit. Yeah, it just went real bad. It wasn't really a jump. It was more of a. Yeah. Let's how flat we can make it. Tell you what, fall. Yeah. if I if I'd fingered a kid, they would have had me on the BBC. Am I right? Hey. Or fuck Jason Orange. Or fuck Jason Orange. Yeah. Hey. BBC will not tell you about that, but yeah. I, I will speak truth. Ah, this has been fucking loads of fun. I think yeah. we're about there. Uh, like, we're, we've, we've done ages, haven't we? An hour and 36 minutes. Fucking hell. Right, this is a long one. Mate, this has been so much fun, though. Like, It's been so much better without him, innit? It's been yeah, so yeah, much yeah. better. It's been like a really nice vibe. I hope nice he never vibe. recovers. It's been, <laughs> it's been such a positive vibe in here. Uh, it's just been like, you know, just... You're, cause, yeah, it's just been lovely not having that toxic psychopath here stinking I, up the fat place. I, I would like someone fatter than me to be on here next time. <laughs> not possible. Aren't we upstairs? Uh, yeah, we are yeah, upstairs. You are the fattest man we can get in this building. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, I do want to say, like, uh, if you're ever in Blackpool, and like, a lot of our fans will go on holiday to Blackpool, go to the Comedy Station. There's proper good, brilliant circuit comedians. Loads of the comics that we've had on here play this all the station them. all the time. All, all the them, acts yeah. that we have on here. You know, like, I know Matt Nelson comes down and does it. You He's know. got, um, in fact, Nelson's got his, his uh, tour show tour there. there in March, I think. There you go. Uh, Mick Ferry's always over there. Yeah. Me and Freddie go there a lot. Like, all the comics from the North you love, Jamie over there loads you know like we're all there like and even if we're not because it's like a fucking great club you know the acts on there are going to be banging like yeah. you know like uh, shit acts only play there once <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. And, yeah. That, and, and I get very angry because they've lied yeah and uh, <laughs> Ryan is also one of the cuntiest hosts in the country he really loves slagging people off so if you're a fan of this podcast yeah. you will have a great fucking night so go to the comedy station in Blackpool it's fucking class uh, unless unless you're 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 a a 60 year old councillor from Durham yeah I don't think he's listening mate no no he's not uh, but yeah also check out the Stag Do special if you've not seen it yet we gave Tom the worst Stag Do <laughs> of all time Ryan was fucking best class best day on of it. my life it's on Patreon it's three quid a month to get on that so make sure you do that because we need money um, also if you have any fucked up videos to send us uh, send them in on WhatsApp to 07354 188 257 is there anything else we need to say, Tom? Um, also, we've started putting adverts in these public episodes. If you don't yeah. like adverts, sign up to Patreon, and then they won't have any adverts. There you go. Ad-free on Patreon, uh, you know, but uh, we need sponsors because we keep uh, not being able to have adverts on our YouTube videos because <laughs> we keep saying things. So yeah. uh, support our sponsors as well. Uh, if you follow the links that we send from our sponsors, it really helps us out. And also, uh, some of them might get you laid and that. So, yeah, you know, yeah. fucking get on it. Uh, thank you very much for being here, Ryan. Fucking love you, mate. It's thank been you great having you. Uh, Tom, you're a fat cunt. Uh, we'll see you later fuck off Ryan Geek said Jason Orange <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>